Ain't no way. A prime sub off the jump? Hi, Mac. Dude, I literally just click go live. But hope you're doing well today, Mac. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I gotta run the ad, almost forgot. I got a cold on my vacation. I wonder where you got it from. <laughs> but that sucks. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, are you guys watching the stream together? Twitch dev is going to... You can upload videos to stories now. That's crazy. Yo! <laughs> they wish. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hi, guys. Who is excited for dating sim? You guys have been begging, and by that, I mean just exclusively Mac. <laughs> I'm ready for you to get on Tinder. Why does everybody want that? I don't think you guys want to see the Peace and Rising arc. No, but like, it'd be so embarrassing. Because, like, then I would have to tell them I stream. Oh my god, my first ever stream. Hello, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Galaxy. If you got any preferred nicknames, tell me. Hi, Squirt. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, this music is kind of crazy. Yeah, guys, clock in. Back to work on Monday. I assume most of you guys are on summer break, though. I've really been lacking. I've really been lacking since it's summer. I've only streamed 30 hours. I messed up my first comment? <laughs> no, you said something normal. You know, th there's people who will, like, come in and say, like, weird shit in their first message. I think you're pretty good. Yeah, I think S-H-O-O-T is a blocked word, if that's what you're trying to say. Did I see the joke I sent you on Twitter? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, Mac and Kim will just send me DMs. I never reply. I just re I respond with, like, happy faces. Because, you know, I would never DM a viewer. Or I would never message, like, people in whispers, sus things. Allegedly. I would never want a convo. Yeah, you've got a GF. Like, I don't get why people genuinely, like, try to talk to their streamers. Like, it's not that we don't care. It's just we don't care about viewers individually. And I think if, the, in pe I think if creators do, then you need to do some self-evaluating, you know? Okay, I'm almost done posting. We gotta let 
all the IG frogs and stuff know that we're live. I'm live, like, basically on time today. You know, I was gonna start at 10, but I was... Wait, I was updating my website! We gotta do our daily plug, let me pull that up. Okay, I'm almost done. I don't know, I just get thrown off whenever I have chatters, like, right away. I'm fighting USPS for my painting? Honey! I- Honey! <laughs> I was gonna message you about that! <laughs> Cause, okay. I didn't explain this, and I think I should, like, add this to product descriptions, but for any purchase that's over a hundred dollars, I'm gonna have people sign for it. And I was looking at, like, the order history, and I don't know if customers can view it. I assume they can, because customers do get, like, a tracking email. But you can only schedule a delivery after they've made two attempts, which is stupid. It's either two attempts or a week after the initial first attempt. So, like, it's DOM, because, like, I'm debating if... I could have customers like place a message like a delivery message to like put their availability that way I can like manually schedule deliveries but then it's like I don't want to do that so I think you should be able to schedule a pickup time tonight but Kim I will say I checked the tracking info this morning and it said they should like deliver it today so you better be home today <laughs> Hi, Electra. Can we get some yos? Hello. Yeah, but like, I just don't want the, the packages outside for too long, because I have insurance. But for orders more than 100, it's like, I don't want it to get cooked or stolen. I resubbed, but it never showed. Um, You have to type a resub message. If it didn't show up, then... Maybe I'll read, I'll read it out of my TTS voice. Okay. Because I can't view it unless you do a, the resub message. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 1048. I'm live on time today. Not early for once. We had... I gotta actually scroll up for once. We had Mac, Kim, Galaxy, and Electra, and also Squirt in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, everybody. And also, thank you, Mac, for the Prime Race up for 25 months. Can we get some wax in chat? Ew, you can see my arm. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm saving up to get dumbbells. I've also been doing ring fit. But only the arm exercises every day. We're gonna... Look at I'm gonna get jacked. Okay. Today, the plan is simple. We're playing a video game. Also, peace and light, people cried. I was gonna do a just chatting this weekend, but I was hanging out with my friend, so. And then I also hung out with my favorite sister. Oh my god, my sister and I got Popeyes yesterday. And usually when we get Popeyes, we get it delivered, so like, it's probably like an hour of sitting. But like, we ordered Popeyes and then I took the bus home, so it was like a 10 minute bus ride home. And oh my god, Popeyes hot and fresh, like right out the fryer, is so good, oh my god. I got their new uh, honey barbecue chicken sandwich, and it's basically just the regular chicken sandwich, but like this, it kind of tasted like this barbecue-y honey mustard sauce, and it was really fucking good. I can't wait for your buff art. I know, me too. I, I used to be, I never used to be like muscly, but whenever like I was my lowest weight, I was kind of like, how do you say? I almost said lit. <laughs> That's not the right word. <laughs> stocky. My, my dad has like a short, stocky build. But guys, it'll happen this year. <clears throat> I made a bet with a friend. Um, if I hit 150, which is like my lowest weight and like a still overweight but like a healthy weight, they said they would clean shave their face. And this guy, they've been growing out their facial hair for years. Their beard is like to here. So I want to make them shave it off. Give me like another six months. Anyway, plan is simple. We're playing a game. 
any other drama? Oh, wait, today's stream is presented to you by... Where is it? Where is it? It... Wait, pause. Today's stream is presented to you by... Peace and art on my Shopify.com. Guys, new artwork coming soon. Also, I have updated the blog section. So now... Wait, I should move my camera here. So now... There is a separate section for, like, art posts. And now, for anybody who places an order and paints, and I paint their order, there's an archive of all the past streams. So if you click on it, I'm gonna put, like, order titles, or the order number of the title, a brief description. And I learned you can embed YouTube videos. Look at that! Ain't that crazy? Like, I knew embedding was a thing, but oh my god. So if you miss a stream or if you want to see your order... Painted live at any point, it will be archived in the blog section of the website. So, guys, bookmark peaceandart.myshop.com. My goal is to do two blog posts a week, which I've only done one, but I got I got two more days to do one more. So, guys, bookmark the website. I should add like a I should add a photo banner up top. It's a work in progress. Okay, that is all. Make sure you bookmark the website. New pieces coming soon. I'm hoping I only got six more months to the end, or six more days till the end of June. Eh, maybe it will happen. We'll see. It's, mm, I want to do stamps, but I, I don't have enough materials. <laughs> okay. Seriously, enough dilly dallying, guys. Wait, last thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. New YouTube video. Click the link. Go watch it now, or watch it later. The YouTube video that I edited, or that I posted on Saturday, it's an edit from two years ago, and I swear to god it was the funniest stream of all time. We definitely need to do the I can't say blank on stream again, it was so fucking funny. Like, I was editing it, like, giggling. Okay, seriously, enough stalling now. Guys? Oh, Chad is in the bottom right, okay. That's fine. What you hear? Today? I'm gonna be playing Kaiju, the Kaiju dating sim. I saw this on sale on the Switch store. I don't remember if it was in a direct. I think it might have been a year ago or something. But this has been on my to playlist for a while. So the goal today is to 100% this game. I think there are four different routes you can do. So I'm gonna riz every single Kaiju successfully. Cause you know, I'm great at raising everyone, including Chad's mothers, so let's see how I do against monsters. Let's jump into it. Um, settings first. Ooh, do we want voiceover? Okay, chat, you decide. Do you want me to do voices, or do you want- I'll do a poll. Cause I like doing voices. Voiceover. Default for what the- Actual game has or PC. What do you guys want? Do you want me to do the voices? Go vote. Oh wait, where's the poll overlay? I lost it. There we go. I think I'm a Riz success, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. I remember when you were struggling, Mac. I remember. When is it gonna be my turn? I mean, I do have a sugar mama and a sugar daddy right now, so. Okay, guys, go vote on the poll. What do you guys want? Do you want me to do voices or do you want the actual game voiceovers? What, you guys don't wanna hear me, VA? Okay, fine. I won't do the voice acting. <laughs> we don't talk about that? I'm with my GF right now? Oh wait, yeah, I, I guess I brought it up. I'm sorry. Peace and what is this? Your new favorite game. Okay, let's jump into it. Wait, there's no captions? Uh, wait, was there a caption setting? Screen shake? Let... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it's a level 9. 
Okay, let's do low screen shake. <laughs> There's no captions. You guys, turn your own live captioning on. Also, hi, Keelan. Everybody, Kaichu, the dating sim. Oh, oh no. I hate when a game opens with a million saves, because that implies that you're going to need manual slaves, and I hate manual saves. Giga choose pronouns. Choo choo! <laughs> No, okay, I, I know it's trying to be funny, like the kissing sound, but all I can see is people making like helicopter pronoun jokes, like, come on. Okay, there's so many. Um, I'll go choo-choo, because it's the default. Hello? Work. Oh wait, did I turn off voice acting? Wait. <laughs> I think I turned off the voice acting. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, awkward. Oh. Oh no, it's on! It's on! I guess some sequences don't have voice acting. Okay, we're back in. Now it shows up. <laughs> I mean, TTS is working better than the stupid in-game voice acting. Chat's tiny. Oh, we, I missed the opening sequence. Oh no. Wait. How do I reset? Okay, well. I missed the cutscene. I'll do a new save. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, t I'm sorry. I don't know how to play games. Also, can we get some weathers in chat? Thank you, Electro. Okay, new save. Now let's actually now let's watch cutscene. World breaking news okay. network. Okay, there's still no VA, so I guess I gotta do it. I did watch the trailer, and Brevity has like a southern voice. I don't know where to put you at. <laughs> uh, let's do top right. There we go. I'm Brevity Orms, and this is my co-host, Lucky Cole, with World Breaking News. <gasps> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Rome no more was my world, and the news is that we broke up. Aww. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Huh. Alas. Wait, also, why? Okay, I can't read. Also, a colossal creature has appeared near the North Pole. <sighs> Are you bringing up a Dai Kaiju to deflect from addressing your breakup? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, why am I giving him the drill now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the gigantic kaiju known as Gigachu is also a significant story. Ah. We may have buried the lead there. <gasps> like, Romo no. Wait, Romo no more. Like, Ro. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I've never seen that name in my life. Like, Rama no more broke, buried my heart. Uh. Let's go to the satellite footage. Hmm. Are you hiding your feelings behind satellite footage again? Well... I also wanted to show Gigachu moving via the left control stick or directional buttons. Aww. It's healthy to cry, Lucky. Uh... More on the story as it develops. Okay, so I guess the VA is just them groaning, which... is not ideal. But I know some people like it. Oh! Wait, I can shoot. I can walk around and choose. Oh my god, there's so many people I can riz. That guy looks jacked. Oh, we're going around the world. That's so cute. Wait, there's no American? Ooh, Space Needle. I know where that is. Okay, I guess we're gonna- oops. 
We're gonna try and riz up everybody today. I was gonna say they don't have Santa, but that's the North Pole, obviously. Let's go for this mushroom grill. Oh. A fantastic floating fungus has burst forth from the Amazon forest. Mm. We have a declassified military report classifying the mushroom maiden as Megaricus. Oh. Megaricus. Giga Chew. Oh, wait. <laughs> I keep on mixing other voices. Giga Chew and the Titanic Toad still are now tra trapezing? Trapezing? Giga Chew and the Titanic Toad still are now trapezing across the tropics. Oh! They just follow me. Okay. What's Y do? Oh, okay. So this is all the different routes. Oh, okay. So you pick a partner and then you traverse the world. Oh. World Breaking Network. Mega Rickus and Gigachu share a strangest. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I thought there would be full voice acting. In the trailer, all these announcers had full VA. I'm gonna demand a refund. What's it called when they give false promises? False advertising. Mega Rickus and Gigachu share an estranged engagement at the. May I? Hmm. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved? May I? Well, there is a language of love in the level of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What? What you talking about, brevity? Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by went and destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Mega Rix is waiting for Giga Chew's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the date as we live it. I'll try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. <laughs> Does Giga Chew come here often? Okay, so we choose the answer. Okay, so we're not like playing as the kaiju, we're playing as the reporters then. Do I come here often? Uh, sure. Oh my god, they're in love! Great. This is Megarokus' first date on the planet. How is Gigachu feeling? Awkward, dangerous, or sedentary? I mean, they're smiling, so let's say great. Ah. Also, hi, Ethan. Giga Chad? Obviously. Can we get some yo's? Hello. They take solace in their shared awkwardness. Mm. Is this Giga Chu's first time dating a fungus? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is my first date. Yeah. Oh, I have to remember everybody's lore throughout then. Okay, I think I got it. Mega Rickus is also excited for first contact between species. Mega Rickus wants to know what first attracted Gigachu to them. Telekinesis, nice hat, or force fields? Okay, when I was walking around the map, the only thing I could see was their head. So I'm gonna say nice hat. Okay, that was neutral. Ah. While amused, Megarikus encourages Gigachu to look beyond. Mm. Does Gigachu like the Moai? I don't know. We destroyed it, so yay! <laughs> The Moai is a lead line for love and devastation. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu kiss in the first date? Deal breaker question? Um... Wait, do I kiss on the first date? I don't know. I don't know if I would. Um... Uh, I would say no. Okay, they're neutral. Ah. They aren't quite ready for a cultural exchange. <laughs> I do? <gasps> Oh, that's so cute! A colony becomes a courting. I 
I don't kiss him till I'm married. Okay, I think that's a bit much. I can understand, like, not smashing before marriage, but not kissing? What if they're, like, bad? I don't know. I, I think giving people out for a test drive is, like, valid. Oh, so the more you do something, the more XP you get. That's why, like, I don't understand why people get mad. Or put off by those who have, like, a high body count. It's like... What did that mean? That they're, like, really good, you know? You know? You know? What if they have bad dental hygiene? Shut the fuck up! Moving on. To Mount Sydney! I assume we gotta go to every location with every single character, so guys, buckle up. I've not predicted a thrice between Kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well. We shouldn't expect them to be compatible in every area. Huh. I've been on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we witnessed. <laughs> Some things aren't acquired taste. They need time to get to know each other. Hmm. I guess we're still getting to know G Gigachu ourselves. Ah. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is the manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lucky? Huh. <laughs> Those experts sound like Philistines who don't understand quality memes. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Gigachu is trying to connect right now with Mount Sidley. And we're in. How does Gigachu relax? Meditation, stargazing, or exploring? Okay, so I guess you have to memorize the responses for your future playthroughs. How does Gigachu relax? Let's say stargazing. <laughs> Okay, that's not correct. Ah. Both are avid astronomers, but Me Megarichus prefers going out over stargazing. Mm. Is Gigachu into fitness? No. Okay, they are into fitness. Huh. What is fitness to a fungal colony exactly? Mm -hmm. Who was Gigachu's hero? Mario, Jim Hansen, or Kirby? Kirby, because Gigachu is pink. Huh. Uh oh. Is Kirby a hero? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu think axes can be friends? No. Ah. Yeah, Gigachu is the pink one. For Mega Rickus, it would depend on the circumstances. Okay, true. That, that's what I would say, too. Oh, that was a horrible date! Oh no... I'm throwing! I want a new ex? <laughs> okay, man. Mono del desierto. World Breaking News Network. Gravity, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu poop? Nah. No, that's number two. Okay. The question is... The question that is intriguing our audience is how you are so in tune with the intentions of these kaiju. Is this your degree in communications? Well. I practice in chin den chin do. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Uh-uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Hmm. What makes Megarikas tick? Ah. They are neurodiverse and seek something beyond the physical. Uh. Will Megarikus be alienated by incompatible answers? <laughs> A culture shock should be expected since they come from different worlds. They have plenty of time to figure out if they're idiosy idiosyncri idiosyncrasies. Wait, I did not say crazies. That That's the word. <laughs> the art style reminds me of Steven Universe? Yeah, a little bit. They have plenty of time to figure out if they're idiosyncrasies can be synchronized. Oh. Let's see your insight in action and learn more about the Mono del Desierto now. Mm. Which describes Gigachu socially? Introvert, it extrovert, or neither? Oh. Let's say extra. Also, hi, Pobobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Okay, they're neutral, so that means they're oh. neutral. 
Magarekus doesn't completely reciprocate Gigachu's expressiveness. Mm. What are Gigachu's hobbies? Puzzles, travel, or dancing? Uh, travel, because I love destroying the world! Both were born for adventure and vacation. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's opinion on precipitation? Precipitation? That's not sweating, right? You know who might be sweating? The non-followers, because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to jump in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Also, I forgot to see if the audio is synced. It's good. I forgot to check earlier. Okay, there's like no good place for chat. Like honestly, there, there's no good place. Okay, precipitation. Neutral. Ah. Gigachu didn't doesn't know when it. Gigachu doesn't know when it rains. It spores. Mm -hmm. Does Gikachu enjoy game? Enjoy. <laughs> Does Gikachu enjoy games? Yes. Ah. Mega Vegas doesn't understand the objective. Man, I'm feeling these days. Well, at least like we have a lot of places to explore. That was only a third date. Which is how many dates you need to smash somebody. Anybody. Teatro Amazonas. Uh. Brevity. I don't think I'm getting the hang of this in Shinden Shindu stuff. Uh -huh. Why do you say that, Lucky? Huh. I'm unsure about how that date went. Mm. The kaiju aren't so certain either. Mm. Brevity, do kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Uh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my travel agent. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. The unstoppable the <laughs> The Unstoppable Kaiju couple, Mega Richu, is spreading destruction at the Teatro Amazonas. Let's go live to the sea. Hmm. Is Gigachu popular? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Both know how to network. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Um, pink, obviously. That's a throwaway question, like, literally. If you got that wrong, then... I was gonna say, maybe you don't, but maybe you're, like, colorblind. <laughs> That's Megarekus' favorite color, too. Is Gigachu a favorite hat? No. What I've learned is that you can't say any neutral answer. It's either yes or no. You got a full sand. Their love defies the laws of gravity. Hmm. Megarikus wants to know how what most attracts Gigachu to them. Transcendence, nice hat, or sense of justice? They didn't like the nice hat answer earlier, and the sense of justice seems kind of silly because we're destroying the world. Let's do transcendence. Yeah? Yes. Gigachu is enchanted by Megarekus' transcendent personality. Oh, Be hugged! Act 2. Fungal Infatuation. We hugged! That's so cute! Do you think Gigachu thinks the workers should own the means of production? You know, I think they're already based for, like, destroying large monuments. The Statue of Liberty. Ah. We have a special interview with Major Panjandrum. Ah. Major Panjandrum. Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the Kaiju? Uh. 
We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh, How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Hmm. We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Huh? I don't think the Kaiju is enemies. Yeah. And I don't think Kaiju watch our program, because not one has paid me a visit yet. Eh. I suppose it would be alright to declassify a little, since the military will always have overcome love. <laughs> Who doesn't love the military? Our latest laser satellites will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. Megarichi was spread in spores, destruction, and love at the Statue of Liberty. Mm. What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live at the scene. Mm. Does Gigachu dance? Yeah! Mm. Despite not being in sync, they both are having a blast. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu find it difficult to compromise? No. I'm a pushover. They are equals in achieving consensus. Mm. Wait, maybe? Maybe I have to... Because if I'm playing as Gigachu, maybe I have to answer how the romance... The romantic interest would like. I think that's what I have to do. Is Gigachu educated? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Gigachu is a lifelong learner of love. Oh my god, me too! Is this relationship worth fighting for? Um, hell yeah! Why would you- why would you say no to that? You'd have to genuinely be stupid to say no. Their love is evidence in their efforts to overcome obstacles. You have to say that to play hard to get? Okay, honey. If you're still playing hard to get as like a late 20 year old, you're never gonna get, you're never gonna find love. The Chai Chin, it's a... Ah. As our Kaju couple's relationship evolves, so too shall our analysis. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive on Gigachu? Does Chu have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Well. Gigachu appears to wear Chu's heart on Chu's sleeve. Huh. Yeah, Chu definitely has that heart motive going on. <laughs> we will be discussing the magnificent mushroom. Wait, sorry. <laughs> we will be discussing the magnificent mushroom maiden known as Megaricus. Oh. What's the word on this out of this world wonder? I've noticed that they never touch. Ah. Good observation, Lucky. They have constantly maintained a short distance relationship. Oh. Is Megaricus fearful of foreign microbes? Is their species poisonous? Could their cellular Could their cellular- <laughs> Okay. Could their cellular- Could their cellular- Cell- Sorry, whenever I see a double L, I keep on wanting to make you want to say a Y, so I like- I short circuit in my brain. <clears throat> could the cellular structure- Could- <laughs> Okay. Editor, cut this out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is Megaric is fearful of foreign microbes? Is their species poisonous? Could their cellular structure be too delicate to touch? Well, well we don't have a definitive answer. Oh. Maybe it's all the above. Hmm. Our astronomical reports... Reports. Our astronomical reports confirm that Megaricus came from beyond the stars of our system. Hmm. Megaricus's colonial consciousness is unlike anything on Earth. Gigachu appears... Gigachu appreciates their neurodiverse intellect. Mm. Is a short distance relationship sustainable for the long term? Physically, it's an important ingredient, but if they can maintain intellectual compatibility, who are we to define their love? Oh. Scientists are always looking for life. Did they ever think to look for love? <laughs> I don't know, but we can look for love ourselves as we go live to their latest date. Is Giga Chew into tattoos? No, because you don't have any. I'm so good at lying. Both Kaiju see tattoos as a foreign concept. 
What is Gigachu's takes on walls? Walls? Um, I like them because you put up a wall between us. Even though I hate walls. The importance of walls is readily apparent in their relationship. How is Gigachu at keeping secrets? Um, very good. What? Gigachu's ability to keep it secret is itself a secret, which is confusing to Mega Rickus. Mm -hmm. God damn it. What is Gigachu's outlook on life? Optimistic, pessimistic, or pragmatic? Um, pragmatic. Yeah. <laughs> they are passionately dispassionate in their outlook on life. Mm -hmm. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? Moon landing, melting ice caps, or K to PG extinction event? I'm gonna say moon landing because you're somewhere in space! Man, I'm gonna riz everybody up and be my non true self. For Mega Rickus, it was leaving the home galaxy. One day we'll touch! We just gotta be like the couple in Pushing Davies. Just put Saram Wrap between us. The Golden Gate Bridge. Ah. Mega Rich, you continue their powerful pursuit of love. Aww. Their relationship has grown so strong. <clears throat> Not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Major. Uh. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I was worried until you said that. Hmm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your st stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Well. As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you think. Hmm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Uh. Our spies have learned information that will surely ruin their relationship forever. <gasps> Exclamation! <gasps> Likewise. Yes. yes, Gigachu secretly started dating... Yes, Gigachu secretly started dating Mega Rickus on a dare. <gasps> no! The classic high school trope! This military man is annoying me now? Dude, isn't it funny how we shoot up right when we stepped in America? Like, seriously. Also, hi, Rainy. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Um, my nose is so itchy today. I don't know why. Uh. That's it? <laughs> They have built shared meaning beyond the motivation for their initial meeting. Huh. Isn't Mega Rickus into Gigachu's daring? I know I am. Yeah. Regardless of how much everyone is into Gig... <laughs> That's such a weird sentence to say. Regardless of how much everyone is into Gigachu, once Mega Rickus re realizes that the relationship is founded on false pretenses, their destructive dating will surely end. <laughs> we have already dispatched drones to reveal Gigachu's duplicity. Oh. We b well, we better go live to the scene to see what happens. No! The literal government is trying to keep us apart. Um, weird question, but... Which does Gigachu prefer for a partner? Younger, older, or same age? Oh, <laughs> I think Mega Rickus is older than us. Yep. Let's destroy that bridge, just like the bridge of love we have in our relationship when they find out that I've been lying! As a timeless space fair, Mega Rickus doesn't have a frame for reference for their age. Which is the most important reason for marriage? Friendship, efficacy, or propriety? I don't know what- oh wait, e efficiency. What's propriety? Um, uh, I'll say that. I don't know what that means. It sounds smart. Oh! Mega Rekus isn't concerned with propriety. Okay, I need to look up what that means. I, I did fail my AP lit exam, just to be clear. Propri... Propriety. The state or quality of conforming to conventionally accepted standards of behaviors and morals. Oh, so like a stuck-up. Got it. <clears throat> mm. 
Is Gikachu artistic? Yeah! Their anti-essentialist interest defy definition. What kind of conversationalist is Gigachu? A listener, a talker, or somewhere in between? I'm a talker. Because I assume they like to listen to me talk. Megarikus likes to listen. See? I clocked him. Oh no! Did Gigachu name Megarikus on a dare? Oh, do we be honest? Okay, earlier, when they had the question about, like, am I good at lying? Or if, I think it asked, like, am I good at lying or do I like to lie? I said no, and they were like, how oh, dare you not lie to me? Like, I like when you lie to me. So, I'm gonna say no, because Megarikus does not like people who don't lie so they like liars i'm gonna say no yes i love building a relationship on a false foundation no but gikuchu dares anyone to try and stop chu now wait this relationship is so toxic No, I'm not toxic. It's just what the game wants me to do. Big difference. Let's go to Seattle. I know where this is. Huh. Mega Virtue has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In, an, in our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Moss? Moss was romancing a lovely lychee dragon named Redna. Aww. They look so sweet together. Yes. They spend most of their time relaxing at Moss's home forest in Vancouver, but they recently visited the gardens by the bay in Singapore. Oh. That's a perfect place for a pair of plants to plan a vacation. Oh. Where has Mega Richu been, by the way? Oh. Let's all find out if they go live to the latest date. I'm glad the military's gone. Mm -hmm. Also, hide ship. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Is Gigachu philosophical? Uh, yeah. No, not the space needle! Theirs is a metaphysical romance. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu aquatic? No. Mega Rigus can't swim either. Is Gigachu multilingual? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I travel the world. And my... My mushroom guy is from space. So I know all the beep boops. Mega Rigus is curious about communicating in even more ways. Oh my god! <laughs> like horizontal communication? Does Gigachu compose poetry? Uh, yeah. Now that I know Mega Rickus's personality type, I can so easily riz them up. Fingers flit over flesh, toad still trembles, landmark crumbles. We're getting there. Mount Rushmoon. Cutting edge, te cutting edge technology cannot decipher the complex code of Mega Richu's courtship. Oh. Major Pandrum, Major Panjandrum joins us for what? Oh my God, dude! I really wish they had VA. I really wish they had VA. Okay. <clears throat> Major Panjandrum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to their unstoppable love affair. <sighs> We are exploring alternative methods of combating these romancing monsters, and we believe that the issue may resolve itself without further investigation. <laughs> Our scientists have analyzed samples and have, and have hypothesized that Megarikus is as dangerous as Gigachu is amorous. Oh. That would explain the touch, avoidance, and barriers. Ah. It is impossible for, the for their relationship to progress without Gigachu becoming exposed to antimatter particles and poisonous spores or damaging their mycelial network. <laughs> 
Megaricus, the kaiju you'd love to touch, but you mustn't touch. Mm -hmm. What if they are content to not touch? <sighs> we have a secret weapon currently under construction, if it comes to that unlikely event. Ah. Major, thank you for the glimpse of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live. <laughs> let's go live. For the present, let's go live to their date in progress. No, oh, no, Mount Rushmore! What is Gigachu's favorite holiday? Kanamera Matsuri, Monkey Bay Festival, or Halloween? Um. The Matsuri sounds the most smart. Mega Rickus is into the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu a fan of forest? No. No! Mushrooms grow in the forest! Gigachu gets tripped up on trees. Is Gigachu musical? Yeah. Ooh. Huh. In space, no one can hear you sing. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu complicated? Yes. I have layers. Just like an onion. They are both gravitated to complexity. Mm. Does Gigachu like literature? Of course! I love reading! What? What? Huh. What? Does that mean Gigachu is literate? Mm. What type of music does Gigachu like? Video games, city pop, or jazz? Um... Uh... Jazz. Still got it. They love to kick the beat while mushroom hunting. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Exploring on top of the world? Or just to be with Mega Rickus? Oh! Exploring on top of the world. I don't want to seem too obsessed, so I don't want to say that I want to be with them. I do know that Mega Rickus loves traveling, so I'm gonna say exploring. I'm so good! They wish to share a journey through time and space. Act 3. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Dating expert? You know it. I do want to do a stream where I do like a... <laughs> like, you know how they have like those um, people you pay like $50 and they like teach you how to riz? I want to do that, but I'm, I don't know how to do that stream without like being weird. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks, because, like, I have to have my window open for, like, ventilation so I don't, like, overheat. But there's, like, literally a plant that has so much pollen right outside my window. <laughs> so it's, like, I've been struggling the past week. Okay. I'm back in. Nook Center. Major Pan Jandrum is back with a special announcement. Auroprints have finally come to fruition. The kaiju dating season is at an end. Mm -hmm. How can you be so confident? Yeah. Especially in light of all the prior failures. Well. The military's ultimate relationship, eradication robot, Mechachu, has been deployed. Uh. Mechachu's advanced systems are specifically designed to evaluate their relationship and exploit their weaknesses. Uh. Mechachu will force them to realize that a relationship without physicality is insufficient. Ugh. Wait, they're making fun of all the aces. I thought that that the, I thought that they would have transcended their tragic circumstances. <sighs> is this the end of love? Let's go live to the climactic confrontation. <gasps> a threesome? So you think your love is pretty good, huh? Oh, uh, yeah! Get him, Get him! 
Their love is the biggest around. When was Megachu's first date? It was Moai. The statues. Gigachu remembers the day like it was yesterday. Because it was yesterday. <laughs> Does Gigachu know Megareka's most formative experience? First fruiting, leaving home, or studying abroad? It'd have to be leaving home from because they're from space. The game is like actually making me memorize things that have happened. Like I have to know my actual like love interest. Meeting Gigachu is a close second. When was Gigachu sign? What? They didn't say that shit at all. Okay, Virgo, Gemini, or Pisces. I don't know. Can I cheat? It doesn't say their sign. No. Um, always go with the far left, Virgo. It's oh. Jober. Mega Rickus is very confused by Gigachu's imaginary celestial maiden. <laughs> okay. Does Gigachu recognize Mega Rickus's greatest weakness? Antisocial, sunlight, or ghost times? They are kind of antisocial. It doesn't seem like they mind the sun. Ghost types is like a Pokemon thing to say. I'm gonna say antisocial. Mega Rickus's personal social structure often leaves them feeling like an outsider. Will Gigachu be satisfied with non-physical relationship? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? No! That's great, but Mega Rickus is overcome with inadequacy and uncertainty. Does Gigachu recognize that Shu is incompatible with Mega Rickus? Um... No? What? No! Oh, this is so hard! They give me like so many like double negatives! Oh no, he really is tearing us apart! Mega Rickus is questioning their sustainability. Or, Mega Rickus is questioning their suitability for Gigachu. Has Gigachu ever been bested by a robotic rival before? Uh, no! Wait, what? What? What's with these dastardly loaded questions? <gasps> no! No! Oh. Did they break up? Romance is dead, overcome by cold, uncaring algorithms and a giant robot. Aww. Their love seemed beyond comprehension. <gasps> the military cracked the code and broke them up. The most inexplicable relationship the world has ever seen has ended quite explicably. Hmm. Sometimes you have to make all the right choices and still fail. Wait! What? I ha Wait, so that does that mean I have to lie when the robot shows up? Oh! <sighs> That's very true, Lucky, but sometimes there are no right choices. Uh. If an untouchable, neurodiverse, colonial organism from space can't find love with a prehistoric romantic, what hope do the rest of us have? Mm -hmm. That is a very specific and astronomically high bar for a relationship, Lucky. Yeah. But brevity, that is exactly what these kaiju must overcome for love. Mm. If love is a battlefield, oh. which it is, mm. then you can only truly lose the war when you stop fighting. Yeah. That means it's still up to Gigachu mm -hmm. and Megarekus <laughs> and viewers like you. No. Oh. Mega Rich's connections seem to be beyond comprehension. Oh. Will any of us truly know love? Huh? It looks like Gigachu is going to get relationship advice. Oh. We're counting on you, Gigachu. Are they gone? They're gone. No. It's Jover. You know who else it's over for? 
non-subs. Also, we got a follower. Thank you for the follow. Can we get some yos? Thank you. Um, guys, we're an hour into stream. So it's time for me to get to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime free or if you have a free Prime sub available. Do it now. And also, if you're new, um, follow. Okay, I'm gonna go blow my nose. I'm sanitizing my hands. I don't want to get boogers on my controller. <laughs> okay. We're back in. Okay, so I guess when you break up, it's just over. You can't get back with your ex. Okay, well, that sucks. Let's go date someone else. Oh, ask advice? Uh. Tefra is deeply moved by Gigachu and Mega Rex's spiritual connection. Mm. They shared understanding and clear boundaries are fundamental. Mm. And their safety affords intense emotional intimacy. Oh. They're tantric romantics. Sorry, I keep impressing B thinking it's Dash. Ah. Moss Ra is inspired by Gigachu's and Migarekis' unique connection and understanding. Mm. Focus on the roots of their relationship and what brought their love to bloom. Well, it did we did like date for a dare. Mm. Support and nurture each other's growth with patience and compassion. Moss Ra gave Gigachu a motherly hug of encouragement. Gavardun or Gavardun? Gyarados. Gavardun doesn't really understand a non-physical relationship, let alone a metaphysical one. Mm. However, he recognizes that every kaiju has different goals, target areas, and nutritional needs. Mm. As long as they're practicing health and habits, spotting on each other's hearts, and are satisfied with their gains, Gavardun thinks that a routine is worth keeping. <laughs> even Gavardun gets the even Gavardun gets that we don't need to comprehend their love to see if that is. To see that it is powerful and beautiful. Oh wait, that's kind of sweet. Ah. Queen Sidora admires Gigachu and Mega Reckless's alliance of shared values and interests. Mm. They should not concern themselves with the ignorance of outsiders. Mm. Embrace the freedom from social constructs and follow the heart's desire. Oh. They will establish an empire of shared meaning. Wait, that's so sweet. Terapia plots Gigachu and Megarikus' intellectual compatibility and understanding. Mm. Remember that a relationship can't be expected to excel in every aspect or fulfill every need. Mm. As long as Megarikus is satisfied with the unique connection of their union, don't let external expectations rain on that parade. Oh. We should all be all... We should all be so fortunate to find a lover who understands our idiosyncrasies. Huh? Gigachu gathered advice, but where is Megarikus gone? Uh-oh, the robot is back. <gasps> fight for love? We did say earlier that we would fight for our relationship. <sighs> our ongoing coverage of Kaiju courtship must finally come to oh. a close. Their relationship has collapsed and little is left to report. Oh. It's not like you to give up on love, Lucky. Well. I'm not the one giving up. Yes. But Gigachu isn't either. 
Chu is heading to Antarctica. Oh. What's there? Is it Megaricus? Is it Hope? <laughs> it is the end. Major Pan Jin Jim. Uh. Why are you here? <laughs> we knew that their relationship was too strong for a single defeat, so we have prepared a finishing blow. What, what are you planning? Uh. Megachu will once again confront them with the weaknesses of their relationship, and Gigachu must acknowledge Megarekus' more compatible companion. Oh. <gasps> Who might that be? <laughs> Mechachu, of course. <laughs> Not only does Mechachu now have warp capabilities to for space travel, but its DG cell armor is compatible is capable of it. Not only does Mechachu now have warp capabilities for space travel, but its DG cell armor is capable of interacting with Mega Rekus's untouchable exterior. Mm. Are those things Mega Rekus cares about? Oh. Well, if Gigachu truly cares, then Chu must admit that Mechachu is a better mate and will fulfill physical needs that Gigachu is incapable of. Oh. How can love stand a chance against science? Oh. Let's go live to see if love survives this climactic confrontation. Okay. I cannot throw the ball here. Are you back for more? Uh, yeah. I said I would fight for our love. <laughs> Mega Ruchu's back for love. Where was Mega Ruchu's first kiss? Um, we didn't kiss though. They didn't. They didn't tell us what our first kiss was. Wait, let me cheat. It don't say. Wait, does blowing a kiss count? Then I think it was the Amazons. Okay, blowing a kiss counted. <laughs> that kiss was unforgettable. What are Mekarekis' love languages? Affirmation and time, service and giving, or touch and telepathy? Affirmation of time. I knew that even if I didn't just look at the chart. Get him! <laughs> Their love is so eloquent. What was Giga Chu's worst habit? Gossip, procrastination, or flatulence? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Procrastination. Ooh. Mega Rekus has exceptionally long time horizons. Why would Gigachu be satisfied with non-physical relationship? Emotional, spiritual, or visual? Emotional. These questions are so much easier. They are committed to maximizing their emotional intimacy. How is Gigachu suited for Mega Rekus? Humor, rhythm, or ESP? ESP. ESP? I don't know what that is. They share a supernatural sense romance. Mm. Gigachu wishes to express what Chu loves most about Mega Rekus. Transcendence? Nice hat or sense of justice? Transcendence. Yeah. Gigachu is enchanted by Mega Rekus's transcendent personality. <gasps> Get him! Look. Oh. Mechachu's manipulative machinations? Incarnations? Hello, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Mechachu's manipulative machinations didn't stand a chance against Gigachu and Megarekus's strange love. Yay! Despite distance and adversity, the lovers overcame. Aww. They share a connection behind... Behind. They share a connection beyond comprehension. Ah. And stronger than a giant robot. <gasps> I think that just a week ago, they were just two lonely kaiju looking for love. Mm. The response, th the response. Dude, I just make it my own words. The possibilities for relationships are as unpredictable as they are endless. Oh. 
I suppose that all the connections we make must overcome the barriers of time and space. <laughs> this makes all the more grateful for relationships that I have. Yeah. And hopeful for those connections that we've yet to make. Oh. I wonder what would have happened if Gigachu had chosen to date another Kaiju. Well... I suppose someone would have to play again to find out. Bye. See you next time. Cute. Okay, so that was the Mega Rickus route. I didn't do it perfectly, but you know what? I saved the relationship. Yeah, I I defeated the robot with my huge muscles. That was cute. I definitely want to do all the routes because I think there's like six different love interests. But I'm going to change the voices for the announcers. I can't do the, the faux southern. I'm just going to give her like a normal voice. Like a, a peace in type of voice. Yeah, I was reading reviews and they did say this game is only like 30 minutes. But it's per route. So there's like five to six different partners you can have. But there's different dialogue and stuff. That was cute. Yeah, there's six different love interests you can have. When we were going through the advice section, that's when we got to talk to everybody. I wonder if you're supposed to lose that first fight. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Okay, I need to stop touching my nose. I need to stop. Let's go back in. Okay, what, what happens if I load this save? Oh. Oh, it doesn't reset. Okay. Yay! Oh. Ah. <sighs> Oh yeah, there's six different save slots. Okay. I got it now. I'm gonna change the pronouns to they, because using Chu as the pronoun was confusing me. Let's do they. And I'm changing the oh. female announcer's voice. I'm just gonna do like... Should I do the... Why, hello? I kind of like that. The extra Emily voice. I'll do that. Okay, Brevity is now extra Emily. I am Brevity Orms, and this is my co-host, Lucky Cole, with the world breaking news. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I guess oh. we can... Huh. We can skip mm, yeah. this. Ah. <gasps> uh. mm. well. uh. Okay. I think we should just go for everybody in order. We did Mega Rickus already. I think this girl's kind of cute. Oh. A voluptuous volcanic vixen is venting a vortex of lava all over the South Pacific. <laughs> the naming of the mountain maiden has been hotly contested, but the moniker favored by Pacific Island volcan volcanologist is Tefra. Oh. Gigachu has engaged Tefra in a global geological survey. Okay, so I need to remember locations that I go to. Because it's going to ask me in the future, this happened here. Or this happened there. The Sydney Opera House. Oh. Kikachu's burning passion meets Tefra's molten magma at the Sydney Opera House. Mm. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Sydney Opera House? Well. There is a love language in the leveling of landmarks. Lucky. And each strike can communicate compatibility. Huh? What you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by went and destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Tefra is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the date as we go live to the scene. Yeah, that voice is so much easier. Hmm. Does Gigachu come here often? Yeah! I love this place! 
Oh my god, she's so cool. Tefra is so cool. They'll share the pleasure of familiar destruction together. Mm. How, do, how is Gigachu feeling? Sweaty, meh, or impatient? I mean, I'm sweating because you're so hot! Huh? Uh. That one didn't work. Tefra hopes Gigachu can handle her intensity. Mm. Is this Gigachu's first time dating a volcano? Uh, yeah. And I love it! Tefra is flattered to be Gigachu's first. Mm. Tefra wants to know who first attracted. Tefra wants to know what first attracted Gigachu to her. The smoky eyes, hot body, or billowing tresses. You don't want to say hot body. Smoky eyes is cool, but I like the tresses. I'm being honest. Wow. Tefra's flowing locks stream across her face as if to hide a longing for something more. Mm. Does Gigachu like this in the opera house? No, because I destroyed it! <laughs> no, Sydney Opera House will stand between their love. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu kiss on the first date? I don't know. Yeah! <laughs> They're heating up. Oh my god! Yo! That was a huge love growth right there. Okay, first kiss, first date, Sydney Opera House. Oh my god. Encore what? Hey. Brevity, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Giga Chew poo? Nah. No, that's number two. Okay. The question that is intriguing your audience is how are you so in tune with the intention of these kaiju? Is it your degree in communications? Yeah. I practice Inchin Denshin Do. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Uh -uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Mm. What's your take on Tefra? Oh. I think she's seeking stability. Uh. Okay. Will incompatible answers erode their relationship? <laughs> it's okay if things get off to a rocky start. It takes time to build a solid foundation and find common ground. Oh. Let's see your insight in action and learn more at Wang. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I almost said something else. Let's see your insight in action and learn more at Angkor Wat now. Okay, so. Tev4 wants a ride or die. What is the most important reason for marriage? Propriety, security, or efficiency? Security. Because if you marry someone, you love them. And you won't cheat. Both want a reliable rock. Is Gigachu artistic? Yeah. She doesn't like the arts. Though an advocate of aesthetic response, Tefra erupted over the idea that nature is without intention. Oh, wait, interesting. Erupted over the idea that nature is without intention. So is it saying that, like, man-made art is better than, like, of nature? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu fashionable? Uh, yeah! They set the hottest trends. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's dialect? Like? Frozen, fire roasted, or nuked? Um, what? Fire roasted. Can you not date as anyone else? I assume not. It would be confusing if you could play as everybody, though, I think. Tefra grills with the geothermal gases. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu affectionate? Yeah! We kissed on the first day! Their passions burn equally as hot. Yes! Man, I love dating sims. <laughs> Dodge Mall. 
Oh. Brevity, I think I'm getting the hang of the inch and dench and do stuff. Aww. What does your heart tell you? Oh. I sensed that was a great date. <laughs> Who was it the kiss? <laughs> it was the kiss. Mm. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Oh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well. Well, not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my barista. Oh. Wait, he said travel agent last time. Why is he saying barista now? He's just risen everybody. The unstoppable kaiju couple? Tef Rachu is heating up at the Taj Mahal. Let's go live to the scene. Mm. How is Gikachu a keeping secrets? I'm bad. It's because I'll tell you everything! Oh yeah, because if they want something long-term, they don't want secrets. Both like to let it all out. Mm -hmm. What does Giga choose takes on walls? I HATE WALLS! Oh. Tuffer knows she needs better boundaries, but hers are still forming. Mm -hmm. Is Giga Chew theatrical? Not really. You said you don't like art. Tefra has twice started a fire at a film festival. Mm -hmm. Which does Gigachu go for? A warm weather, cold climate, or clement temperature? A um, warm weather, I love the heat! This feels so sad because I'm not like answering how I want to answer. I'm literally answering how the love interest wants me to. This is so toxic. Tefra likes it hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into piercings? Yeah! Even though she doesn't have any. Oh. Tefra appreciates the aesthetic, even though she doesn't currently have any herself. Mm. Tefra wants to know what most attacks Gigachu to her. The courage, hot body, or temperance. Doesn't temperance mean, like, ability to maintain composure? I'm gonna say temperance. Oh! Oh no! Tefra worries that Gigachu is blinded by love or is suffering from heat stroke. Did we break up? Oh, that was a horrible date! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, Tokyo Tower! Ugh. Though the Kaiju couple acquired a moniker, the sparks aren't really flying. Oh. Is Tefra too hot to handle? Oh. Tefra seeks someone to strike a balance between unbridled passion and stability. Hmm. Is, Giga is Gigachu able to fill both roles? Oh. It looks like they're giving it another go. Okay, I literally cannot feel this date. How does Gigachu feel about wood? I hate it. No! I want you to burn the wood! Gikachu isn't keen on kindling. Mm -hmm. What kind of conversationalist is Gikachu? A listener, a talker, or somewhere in between? Some Somewhere in between, because if we are going to be together forever, we need to both listen and speak to each other. Ah. Tefra is improving and not interrupting. Mm. Is Gikachu into fitness? I'm neutral. Tefra likes to sweat a bit more than Gikachu. Does Gikachu like animals? I don't know. I think it's my best if I'm- I don't know, I just say neutral. But I feel like Tefra would kill any animal she touches, so I'm gonna say I hate animals. Good choice. <laughs> Did Gikachu indicate well done with barbecue sauce? Does Gigachu dig desserts? I don't know. Neutral. Ah. The desert is hot, but not that hot. Oh, We're making up. Okay, this relationship is kind of rough already. Not that compatible. The Great Wall of China. Ah. 
We have a special interview with Major Pangendrum. Uh, Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh, we will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh, how can you stop the how can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Uh -huh. I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. I don't think kaiju watch our program because not one has paid me a visit yet. I suppose it will be all right to declassify a little since military will always overcome love. <laughs> our strategical placing, our strategically placed artillery will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. Tifrachu doesn't mind dancing in the rain of the Great Wall of China. Yeah. What? I must go. Hmm. And we must go live to the scene. Hmm. Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? Uh, yeah, I love commitment. Oh. Tefra would be willing to go dormant if she meets the right mate. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu moved by domes? No. I don't know what that question is asking. It doesn't matter to Gigachu that Defra has blown her dome. Which height does Gigachu prefer for a partner? I'm shorter, because you're shorter than me. Defra is fine with being Gigachu's shoddy. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Of course! Why would it not? They both know that it takes pressure to make diamonds and keep the blood pumping. Kiss and makeup, please. Thank you. We're back in it. Mount Kilimanjaro. As our Kaiju's couple's relationship heats up, so too shall our reporting. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive on Gigachu? Do they have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Well. Gigachu appears to wear their heart on their sleeve. Oh. They must have that heart motive down. <laughs> we will be focusing on the voluptuous volcano known as Tephra. Mm. What's bubbling beneath Tephra's surface? Is it magma or lava? I can never remember which is which. Mm. It's magma. Magma. Got it. What else do we know? Oh. From studying the geological record, scientists have learned that Tephra may have been orphaned when she was just a young cinder cone. Aww. Is her fiery temper a test to lackluster lovers as she recreates her lonely island childhood? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. It is suggested that the extreme weather events of 535 and 536 were due to Tephra having a terrible breakup. Oh. That's even more catastrophic than any relationship I've ever had. Oh. Can Gigachu can, can handle Tephra's test? Is Gigachu only involved until passion's cool? Ah. Fortunately, Gigachu isn't interested in a relationship founded on fleeting feelings. Mm. They are committed to capturing the geothermal energy. They are committed to capturing the geothermal energy to keep their relationship warm, even when Tefra might be feeling cold. Mm. How exactly will that prevent their love from going dormant? Well, a relationship founded on security is fundamentally more stable than when pre pre predicated. A relationship founded on security is fundamentally more stable than one predicated upon the whims of passion. Do you think that will be successful? <laughs> it's the best plan we've got, and you should always go with the best plan that you have. Oh. Let's go live to see if that date avoids a cataclysmic collision. Uh oh. They're testing us. You know who else needs to be tested? The non followers, because guys, we are. Another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get the top of chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So follow right now. We've already gotten one. Can we get our daily goal? <laughs> Does Gigachu have a good relationship with their family? Yeah, that way my family becomes yours. Family is a rocky subject for Tefra. Does Gigachu find it difficult to compromise? No! I love compromising! That's fortunate because Tefra sometimes struggles to go with the flow. 
How does Giga Chew relax? Baking, naps, or yoga? Baking. You can become my oven, girl. Both find baking relaxing. Which is Giga Chew? A morning monster, a creature of the night, or neither? Morning? Oh. How am I supposed to know? Tefra doesn't usually do mornings. Is Giga Chew multilingual? No. You know, it's good to be multilingual though. Giga Chew is focused on Tefra's love language. Wait, that's such a good save. What was Giga Chew's most formative experience? Nuclear age, melting ice caps, or K to PG extinction event? Extinction event, because didn't the volcanoes kill the dinosaurs? Pangea splitting was especially tough for Tefra. Yes, we're back in it. Great Sphinx of Gaz of Giza. Tefra Chu continues their powerful push of love. Their relationship has grown so strong. Not strong enough. Hello. Well, welcome back, Major. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Yeah. As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you think. Mm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Our codebreakers have unearthed the Gigachu's underlying motivation for Danu Tefra. <gasps> he gets. <gasps> yes. The primary reason for Gigachu's attraction to Tefra is because of her huge titanium deposits. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> well, lots of people appreciate titanium. <laughs> I know I do. Uh... As do I, but Tefra won't tolerate a suitor who will forsake her when a richer mountain with bigger deposits come along. <laughs> The have already launched drones to inform Tefra of Gigachu's superficial and circumstantial affection. Oh. We better go live to the scene to see what happens. Okay, we need to not mm. throw. I'm not gonna throw. What social cause is most important to Gigachu? Gender equality, climate change, or disaster relief? Oh, well, that's tough because Tefra causes disasters. Disaster relief? Okay. That was tough. Tefra affectionately refers to therapy as disaster relief. Oh my god! <laughs> Is Giga Chew popular? Uh, yeah! Oh. Cataclysmic eruptions aren't especially popular. Has Giga Chew been more affected by positive than negative experiences? No, I'm fucked up. We're, we're gonna trauma bond! Tefra has turned pressure into diamonds. Mm. What is Giga Chew's favorite holiday? Guy Fox Night, New Year's, or Kamehameha Day? Uh, New Year's cause fireworks! Ah. I thought that would work. Tefra appreciates the historically sulfuric celebration. Mm. What type of music does Giga Chew like? Calypso? Rock or Gulf and Western? I don't know what she likes. Rock, because it's metal. Gigachu wants to play some mountain music. Is Gigachu a gold digger? <gasps> no. Why would I admit to being a gold digger? Tefra dig- er, Gigachu digs Tefra, not gold. <laughs> Bob Al-Mansur. 
Huh. Zephyr Chu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Terapio has found love in the Fracken, a legendary long-tailed lizard. Oh. The Fracken has really brought Terapio out of its sure show. Yes. They have been lounging in the Emerald Lagoon after spending the night tasting the delicacies of Bangkok. Oh. That's quite an exciting adventure. Oh. Where have Gigachu and Tefra been traveling to? Oh. Let's all see for ourselves as we go live to their latest date. Mm. Does Gigachu enjoy games? No. Ooh! Huh. Tefra's left playing solitaire. Mm. Does Gigachu like metal? Yeah, I love mountain metal. Ah. This topic is conducting heat. Mm. Which does Gigachu prefer to partner? Younger, older, or same age? Same age? <laughs> How old is Gigachu anyhow? Does size matter? <laughs> Not really. Smile. Tefra is sensitive about the size of her foothills. Mm. What is Gigachu most proud of? Mountaineering, temperature, or kisses? <laughs> temperature! <laughs> Much like Tefra, Gigachu's passions burn at well over a thousand degrees Celsius. Mm. Deal breaker question. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Uh, no, I'm not a nerd. Nerd. Oh. Hot and bothered, bothered by touching, touching cold soldier, or shoulder. <gasps> no! Oh no! I think we're gonna break up. Oh, it's okay. The heart gauge changes per act. Okay, good. Oh my god. I thought we were Jover. The Eiffel Tower. Oh. The stakes of dating are much higher now that the military is involved. Aww. Their relationship is unlikely to progress if dates aren't great. Ugh. Oh, how often relationships falter in the face of military mind? Mm -hmm. Is that a common relationship problem? Yeah. Indeed it is. <sighs> I dated an explosive or... Ordnance? I dated an explosive ordnance disposal specialist. <laughs> we didn't speak the same language, our wires got crossed, and things kinda blew up. <laughs> You have the most unique war stories, Lucky. <laughs> you only lose in love when you stop fighting. Oh. Tavrachu isn't... Tavrachu hasn't quit either. Let's go live to the scene. Mm -hmm. Could Gigachu be with someone who didn't share their same political beliefs? <sighs> uh... <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. Tefra has an unpleasant history of being pulled into politics. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu keep up with current events? No. No, I hate politics though. What do you want me to say? Tefra has all the latest. Tefra has all the latest geologic records. Mm -hmm. Which most describes Gigachu? Peacekeeper, troublemaker, or neither? Okay, she wants somebody stable, but. I'm gonna say Peacekeeper because Tefra is the troublemaker. No, we're gonna break! Trouble is one of Tefra's turn-ons. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that- oh, I thought- I thought my breakup bar was far larger. Okay, honestly, I don't think I could date somebody like Tefra Ira, though. I don't like drama. Burj Khalifa. <sighs> That's the second time Tefrachu was kept from erupting. Aww. They may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. Hmm. How will they recover from this loss? Well. They need to direct their unparalleled passions cons constructively. They need to direct their unparalleled passions constructively and avoid friendly oh. fire. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, right? Yeah. Well said. And it looks like they are ready to give it another go right now. 
They need to stop mm. spying on our dates, like, for real. Does Gigachu like literature? Uh, no, that's for nerds. Huh. They are both literally illiterate. Mm. What qualities would Gigachu wish to pass to future generations? Atomic breath, heat resistance, or... Joy de vibre. The third one? Because I don't know what it is. Hell yeah. Both would share that exuberance. Mm. Is Gigachu a fan of forests? I hate them. Grr, I want to burn them down. <laughs> Gigachu is captivated by Tephra's deforest landscape. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's outlook on life? Optimistic, pessimistic, or pragmatic? Optimistic! Ah. Tephra's outlook is tempered by past trauma. <sighs> True. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu think exes can be friends? No. Grr. They would both prefer to burn those bridges. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Um, neutral. Magma compressed passion capacity surpassed. Arrow mad Magma compressed passion capacity surpassed. Arrow magmatic eruption. Okay, I still got a kiss. I got a kiss. I got something. <gasps> what? How is that a breakup date? What the frick? I nailed it. What's going on? She doesn't love me anymore. This is new. Would you like to save your love or risk it? I'm risking it for the biscuit. Let's go on another date. I assume if you save it, you have to do like a different challenge. But I'm risking my love. I like the design of the game. It's cute. I know. I love dating sims. <clears throat> Let's go to Big Ben. Who hasn't kissed under the Big Ben type one? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the kaiju in the middle of the trees seem to have come to a stalemate. Ah. Major Pan Gendrum joins us again for another update. Hmm. How will this situation play out, Major? Whoa. The military must admit that the kaiju were far more passionate and persistent than we had anticipated. I, I pressed B by accident, sorry. Ugh. Since it appears that we cannot destroy their love outright, we have decided to establish a demilitarized zone for the kaiju to continue cavorting. Uh. What an unexpected, peaceful solution. Uh -huh. But assuming that they actually remain in the zone, won't they simply continue the destructive romance that you have set to stop? Uh. Every aspect of the zone will be strategically calibrated with military precision to restrict romantic impulses. <laughs> we are calling it Operation Friend Zone. No! Uh. Will Tefrachu achieve a divide? Will Tefrachu achieve a decisive victory, or will he be banished forever to the Friend Zone? Oh. Let's go live and see for ourselves. No, but... No. Which does Gigachu prefer? Follow a plan? Go with the flow or neither? Go with the plan. What? Oh. She wants to build me! Dude, I hate Tefra. She's so hot and cold. Plans are a bit too predictable for Tefra. Mm. Is Gigachu musical? Neutral. Tefra's flow is too hot for Gigachu. Mm. Does Gigachu care for concrete? Okay, does concrete melt? I don't think so, right? I want to say I love it. Ah. Gigachu, Tefra, and concrete are tolerant of high temperatures. It does not melt. Mm. Is Gikachu vegan? Ew. I hate plants. Tefra is molten. Does Gikachu like rock? Yeah. They mean the music, not the physical rock. Gikachu is dating a rock type after all. What is Gikachu's top pet peeve? 
flatulence, paparazzi, or nose picking. Farts. <laughs> ah. Tefra is slightly self-conscious about her volcanic gases. Oh, wait. Yeah, literally. God damn it. It's so sad seeing me not get kisses anymore. Despite potential for an eruption of romance that would rock the world, this love affair was a false alarm. Oh. No! The kinder couple have been quarantined in the military's friend zone. Oh. Though their relationship fizzled, they didn't burn the bridge and still blow off steam together. Hmm. Will Gigachu return to the dating scene soon? Yeah. Hopefully, after some time for self-reflection and self-actualization, we will see Gikachu again in a new game. No! Oh. Man, okay, so I, I lost the Tefra route. Man. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna try again. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So, Tefra, I'm sorry. You were just too hot to handle. Hello. <gasps> Here, skipping yeah. this. I'm so sorry, Tefra. New love interest? We're gonna need a boy. I think it's a boy. Oh. A titanic scorpion tail turtle is timidly traversing the great sandy desert in Australia. Mm. Since no name has yet achieved public consensus, we're going to our online poll to name the creature. Mm. The results are in. And the name is just barely beaten out Shelly McShell faces Terpio. Oh. Gigachu has enticed Terpio to depart from desert seclusion. Oh! Gigachu and Terpio's reptilation rendezvous wrecks havoc at the Sydney Opera House. Hmm. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Sydney Opera House? Well. There's a language of love in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky, and each tribe can communicate compatibility. Well. What you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that kaiju are wooed by went and destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Terpio is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the data so we go live at the scene. Wait, he has four hands. Yo! Does Gigachu come here often? Uh, yeah. I love this place. Oh, that's so cute. He goes in his shell. Terpio is smitten by Gigachu's sociability. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he likes outgoing people. How is Gigachu feeling? Confident, excited, or nervous? I'm excited! Ah. Tarpia hopes Z won't disappoint. Mm. Oh, their pronoun is Z. Okay. Is this Gigachu's first time dating a hermit? Uh, yeah. First time for everything. Terpio's actually Gigachu's first time dating any kaiju. Hmm. Terpio wants to know what first attracted Gigachu to Zerg. Their shell, tail, or hands? Okay, I did comment on the hands. <laughs> but shell. Ah. A, deeper a deeper answer would be better, but also too much for Terpio at this point. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like the Sydney Opera House? Yeah. I love destroying it. Okay, so the first date is really easy. You just say, I love being here, I love this place, let's destroy it. They share a deep appreciation for the uniqueness of the Sydney Opera House. Mm. Does Gigachu kiss on the first date? I'm neutral. Ah. Neither want to rush things. Oh, they're blushing.
Chirpy is so cute. One Fathom Bank Lighthouse. I, I would not have predicted a thrice between Kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well, we shouldn't expect them to be compatible in every area. Huh. I've been on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we witnessed. <laughs> it may take a while for them to come out of their shells to get to know each other. Hmm. I guess we're still getting to know Gigachu ourselves. Ah. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is the manifest. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is the manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lucky? Yeah. Did you hear that, sis? You should visit more often. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Gigachu is trying to connect right now at the One Fathom Bank Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu fashionable? Yeah. I assume he can, like, or Z can swap on their shell. Terpio admires Gigachu's confidence in their own skin. Mm -hmm. What is Giga Chu's favorite color? Green, pink, or black? Green, because you're green. <laughs> Terpia's favorite color is pink. Oh, Terpia's favorite color is pink because they're trying to raise me. <laughs> is Giga Chu into piercings? No. Ah. Terpia doesn't have any piercings, but C isn't opposed to getting one. Mm. Is Gigachu educated? No. Oh. <laughs> Gigachu has never stopped on a school bus. Mm. What is Gigachu's favorite holiday? Hurling day? Festivus or hovercraft day? Uh, I don't know. Hovercraft? <laughs> I understand their enthusiasm for the amphibious... Amphi amphibious. <laughs> I understand their enthusiasm for the amphibious Marvel and SRN one's maiden voyage. Mm. Does Gigachu kiss on the second date? Oh, uh, yes! Yes! Uh. They do! Yo! I'm gonna try to go to every place that I haven't gone. Ekebasta's Grass 2 Power Station. I think I'm... Oh okay, yeah, I didn't go here. No, wait, I did. I think I did. It's fine. Hey. Gravity, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Giga Chew poo? Nice. No, that's number two. Okay. The question that is intriguing our audience is how are you so in tune with the intention of these kaiju? Is your degree in communications? Well. I practice Inshin Den Shin Do. What? Is that some monster dialect? Do you speak Kaiju? Uh -uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Mm. What are your thoughts on Terpio? Oh. Z is a solitary, introverted soul who needs time to build trust. Oh. Will, in will incompatible answers establish a fish? <laughs> it's so hard to speak. Will incompatible answers establish a sufficient connection? <laughs> I suspect Terpio appreciates patient when it comes to missteps. They have plenty of time to discover their deeper bonds. Oh. Let's see your insight in action and learn more at Ekibastus' Grass 2 Power Station now. Hmm. How is Gigachu at keeping secrets? I'm great at keeping secrets, because you're an introvert, so you're going to share stuff with me. Oh. Terpio has lost a tea to share with Gigachu. What is Gigachu's top pet peeve? Braggadocio. Tailgating or unfunctionality? I don't know what Braggadocio is, so I'm gonna say that. Oh. Boasting triggers Terpio's insecurities. Mm. What describes Gigachu socially? Introvert, extrovert, or neither? I'm an introvert. Two impenetrable shells might hinder communication. Mm -hmm. Which height does Gigachu prefer in a partner? Short. Mm -hmm. Terpio isn't a tall kaiju, so it's a good match. Mm -hmm. 
Is Gikachu emotionally intelligent? Yes. They embrace both empathy as well as each other. Are we gonna kiss? Yeah. The Eiffel Tower. Oh. Brevity. I think I'm getting the hang of this inch and dench and do stuff. Aww. What does your heart tell you? I sensed that was a great date. <laughs> Who was it the kiss? Yeah. It was the kiss. Mm. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor. They generally seem to favor them. Oh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well. Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to my librarian. Oh. The unstoppable Kaiju couple Torpachu is strolling by the Apple Tower. Let's go live to the scene. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu follow current events? Yeah. Terpio has too much anxiety to keep up with everything. Wait, that's so real. Mm. Which is Gigachu? Morning monster or creature of the night or neither? Neither. Ah. Terpio tends to turn in early. Mm. Is Gigachu philosophical? Uh, yeah. I'm so much better at, like, reading the quiet types because that's what I am. Their love is following a logical course. Mm. Is Gikachu multilingual? Uh, sure. I don't know. Ah. Gikachu is a good listener, at least. Ooh, that was a neutral date. Ooh. <gasps> yes! St. Basil's Cathedral. Ah. We have a special interview with Major Panjandrum. Ah. Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Hmm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh. We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How could you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Hmm. We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Uh -huh. I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. And I don't think kaiju watch our program, because not one has paid me a visit yet. Yeah. I suppose it would be alright to declassify a little, since the military might will always overcome love. <laughs> our BOM beers will obliterate any chance of romance before they arrive at each other most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. Torpachu is undeterred and settling in at St. Basil's Cathedral. Mm. What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live at the scene. Is Gigachu moved by domes? Is this shell a dome? Yeah. Gigachu has a thing for shells. <laughs> what type of music does Gigachu like? Kumba? Math rock or emo? Math rock? <laughs> what is that even? The next kid's book? Terpio likes sleepy tea. Mm. What qualities would Gigachu wish to pass to future generations? Powerful tail, emotional intelligence, or compassion? Um, powerful tail, look at us both. What? Ah. For Terpio, it's their shell. Mm. Does Gigachu enjoy games? Neutral! Ah. Gigachu hasn't even stepped on a gaming convention. Mm. Does Gigachu dream? Of course. I dream of a future with you, Torpio. Gigachu dreams of Torpio. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Of course. That is such an easy question. Torpio doesn't especially like fighting, but wholeheartedly agrees. Yeah. Nice. You know what else is nice? Subscribing. Because, guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing. 
for $4.99, for $4 just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Do it now. We've already gotten two primes today. That's crazy. I think this is the only landmark we haven't seen. Or haven't beaten, rather. Nook Center. Ah. As our Kaiju couple's relationship matures, so too shall the reporting. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive on Gigachu? Do they have a dark secret? Spill it to you, brevity. Well. Gigachu appears to wear their heart on their sleeve. Huh. They have that heart motive down. <laughs> we'll be focusing on the terrestrial titan known as Terpio. Oh. What makes that turtle scorpion tick? Is Z a tortoise scorpion? Hmm. Terpio isn't defined as turtle or tortoise. Terpio is Terpio. <laughs> I get you, Terpio. I too defy definition. Ah. Prior to being roused by Gikachu's charms, Terpio led a solitary life amongst the dunes of the Great Sandy Desert, playing melancholy melodies on Zer Col Colossal Did Geverdu. Oh. I heard Topio play last year when I was on Walkabout. <sighs> Zur's songs suggest a tragic past leading to trust issues. Terapy hasn't opened up much about it, but that is the leading theory amongst the musicians. Mm. How will the nine How will the nine vulnerable lovers allow themselves to be vulnerable? Well. Gikachu needs to be consistent and not personalize any of Terpio's trust issues. Mm. Terpio should stick with therapy, processing Zer trauma, and take things one day at a time. Oh. Let's see if they put any of that advice into practice as we go live to their latest date. Okay, this date is always the hardest. Mm. To what does Gikachu attribute their success? Luck, hard work, or combination? Uh, combination. That's like the realest answer. A lot of most anything comes to luck, but you have to work hard whenever you do receive said luck. Success is much more achievable if you're fortunate enough to have support. Mm -hmm. Which does Gikachu prefer for, for? Which does Gikachu prefer for a partner? Younger, older, or same age? We look about the same age? Saved. <laughs> How old is Gigachu anyhow? Who was Ginkachu or G <laughs> Who was Gigachu's hero? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Camp Gamera or Pong Pagong? Ninja Turtles. Oh. Terpy was intimidated by teenagers, but you're a turtle! Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu mathematical? Yes, I'm a nerd. Fondness for functions have directly increased their affection. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? Printing press? Melting ice caps? Or K to PG extinction event? The extinction event because everybody went extinct and you were alone. I love weaponizing trauma! For Topio, it was reconciling Zer, Reptilian, and Arachnid upbringing. Kith. Yeah. I'm just seeing if I missed any landmarks. Okay, at this point, I've seen all the landmarks, but there's still different dialogue for every character. To the Great Sphinx of Giza. We'll go to the desert ones first, because that's what Terpio likes. Ah. Terpacha continues their powerful pursuit of love. Their relationship has grown so strong. Not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Major. Uh. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like to I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us wow. more. As I was saying, their relationship is much their relationship is not as strong as you mm. think. 
How do you know how strong I think they are? Our intelligence... Our intelligence analysts uncovered a weakness that we can exploit. Empathy. Oh my. My goodness. Yes. Yes, we will convince the couple to split for the sake of each other's safety. That's such a good strat, though. Aren't they stronger together, though? They do seem stronger together. Of course. That's why we're breaking them apart. Our drones are en route to threaten them right this moment. We better go live to see. We better go live to the sea to see what happens. No, not the robot fight. No. Is Gikachu a fan of forest? No, I love the desert. What? Huh. Gikachu doesn't share Terpio's fondness of foliage. Mm -hmm. Which most describes Gikachu? Peacekeeper? Troublemaker? Or neither? Peacekeeper. Ah. Both walk a peaceful path. I gotta sneeze. Is Gikachu afraid of heights? Yes. Oh. Both are intimidated by heights. Mm. Is Gikachu theatrical? Neutral. Ah. For the sake of the arts, Terpio tolerates crowds. Mm -hmm. Is Gikachu into sports? No. Crowds. L. Ah. They aren't interested in sports outside of some casual zorbing. Mm. Does Gikachu like metal? No. Cultural and historical significance is lost on Gigachu. <gasps> no, that's our first bad date! No! God damn it. Oh! The stakes of dating are much higher now that the military is involved. Aww. Their relationship is unlikely to progress if dates aren't great. Ugh. Oh, how often relationships falter as the face of military mind. Uh -huh. Is that a common relationship problem? Yeah. Indeed it is. <sighs> I dated a tank commander. <laughs> Our relationship got stuck in rust, locked tra lost traction, in the end, we never really opened up. <laughs> you have the most unique war stories, Lucky. <laughs> you only lose in love when you stop fighting. Oh. Terpachu hasn't quit either. Let's go live to the scene. What are Gigachu's hobbies? Sports, music, or design? Music. You don't have to have similar likes or interests or hobbies to date somebody. This is like teaching us the wrong thing. They are mutually enthusiastic about music. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu have a good relationship with their family? Um, neutral. Ah. Terpy's relationship with Zer's relatives is complicated. Mm -hmm. Which habitat does Gigachu prefer? The big city, a small town, or the countryside? Countryside. Zer likes the desert. They both strongly favor the quiet countryside. Does Gigachu dance? No. But I'll dance on that shell if you catch my drift. For two non-dancers, the pair are perfectly in step. Oh no! Would Gigachu break up with Terpio to protect Zer? What? Oh. No. Yes! I will fight for this relationship. Gigachu thinks that Terpio is sufficiently strong and doesn't need protecting. Yep. Mount Kilimanjaro. Huh. Terpachu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Garuda and the Flexing Fowl has found a friend in the exceptionally swole Sartha Snack. Oh. How did a snake and bird become best buds? Well. Their relationship began as a flexing rivalry, but developed into a buff bond between bros. Oh. I should go back to the gym to pump up my chance for romance. Mm. They were recently seen exercising at the Coliseum. Oh. 
Where have Gigachu and Terpio been getting their steps in? Oh. Let's go live to their latest date. Hmm. Could Gigachu <laughs> Could be with someone who didn't share their same political beliefs? No. Go woke, go broke. Political compatibility is a requirement for both. Mm. Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? Yeah. They would love a place to rest their tired tails. Is Gigachu complicated? Oh yeah, I'm s you will never like break my layers. I'm an onion. They make a very complicated couple. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker question. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Yeah. I'm metal. Heart parched and oasis your kiss. Yeah, let's go! Burj Khalifa. Oh. Tanks and B1Bs and guns don't even scratch the surface of their romance. Oh, oh wait, that's the wrong voice, sorry. Major Pandrenum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to their unstoppable love affair. We are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. Our intelligence reports suggest that Terpio suffers from seasonal depression. It affects about 6% of the populace. How is that relevant? Uh. Our weather control division is ready to rain on the romance, and the forecast is a gloomy breakup. <laughs> Terpio might not mind the rain with Gigachu brightening our days. <laughs> we have a secret weapon currently under construction if it comes to that unlikely event. Uh. Major, thank you for the glimpse of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live to their date in progress. Mm -hmm. How does Gigachu feel about wood? I hate it. Gigachu had a traumatic Gigachu had a traumatic experience with a splinter. Does Gigachu like animals? I love animals! Ah. They like animals equally, but Terpia was allergic. How would I know? Is Gigachu into ornamentation? Neutral. I don't know what that means. Ah. Terpia prefers things plain. What is the Gigachu's opinion on precipitation? Ew, I hate weather. <laughs> Despite Zer Desert Habitat, Terpio isn't completely opposed to precipitate. Er, that's the wrong voice. Despite Zer Habitat. Despite Zer Desert Habitat, Terpio isn't completely opposed to precipitation. Oh, that's a neutral date. Dang. Can't break up, no. Tokyo Tower. <sighs> That's the second time Terpacho was forced to withdraw. Aww. They may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. Mm. How will they recover from this loss? Well. Gigachu must simply supply lines of communication open to avoid losing Terpio to the war of attrition to depression. Yeah. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, right? Yeah. Well said, and it looks like they're ready to give it another go right now. Is Gigachu into tattoos? I'm neutral. You said you might get one. Ah. Terpio likes to get Zer's shell painted sometimes. Mm. Is Gigachu popular? No. I'm a loner just like you, Zer. Or not Zer. Terpio. Ah. Terpio's attracted to Gigachu's lone wolf ways. Mm. What is Gigachu's outlook on life? Optimistic? Pessimistic? Or pragmatic? I'm a pessimist. Let's wallow in our sadness together. <laughs> I can't tell if their shared pessimism makes them a great pair or pretends doom for the relationship. Mm. Which does Gigachu prefer? Follow a plan, go with the flow, or neither? I follow a plan. Both are structurally oriented kaiju. Mm. 
Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Harmonizing on top of the world or just to be with Terpio? I want to be with you, Terpio. Ah. Terpio thinks Gigachu should have other goals as well. Okay, that's like a good answer, but not what I thought Terpio would like. What? Okay, any kiss, any date that doesn't end in a kiss is a breakup date. Would you like to save your love? What does save my love mean? Oh. Oh, save my love means physically save the file. Oh. I see now, I'm just not realizing. My first act with the Volcano Grill is not saved at all. Oh, okay. That's fine. Angkor Wat. Oh. The Kaiju and the military seem to have come to a stalemate. Oh. Major Pangenderm joins us again for another update. Mm. How will this situation play out, Major? Oh. The military must admit that the kaiju were far more passionate and persistent than we had anticipated. Since it appears that we cannot destroy their love outright, we have decided to establish a demilitarized zone for the kaiju to continue cavorting. What an unexpected peaceful solution. But assuming that they actually remain in the zone, won't they simply continue the destructive romance that she is set to stop? Every aspect of the zone will strategically... Every aspect of the zone will be strategically calibrated with military precision to restrict romantic impulses. We are calling it Operation Friend Zone. Ah. Will Terpachu achieve a decisive victory? Or will he be banished forever to the Friend Zone? Oh. Let's go live and see for ourselves. It seems like I did so well on the first attempt. I think that just means your first love is your only love. The size matter? No. Terpio thinks it matters a little. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu fashionable? I'm neutral. Ah. Terpio is working on Zuru's self-confidence when it comes to self-expression. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Green. Because I like your shell. Ah. Terpio's favorite color is pink. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into piercings? Yeah. Yep. What? Gigachu thinks Terpio's tail is pretty sharp. Oh, that's a neutral date. We're gonna break up. We're in the friend zone now. Oh. <sighs> Terpachu's impenetrable romance has ended in a draw. <sighs> the Kaiju couple have been quarantined in the military's friend zone. Aww. Though neither could be op though neither could open up completely and let their guard down, they still have each other's backs. Hmm. Will Gigachu return to the dating scene soon? Yeah. Hopefully, after some time for self-reflection and self-actualization, we'll see Gigachu again in a new game. Man. Maybe it's not- I'm not supposed to find love. Okay, let's do another one. Tartar sauce. I'm not good at this dating thing. Huh. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Let's date the bug. Oh. A massive mossy moth mystically manifested from the mists of Carmano Walbram Provincial Park. Mm. The locals call this monster Mosra after the legendary plant protector that would defend Vancouver and all of Canada in a time of crisis. Oh. Gigachu might have met their match in Mosra. No partner. Nook Center. Masra and Gigachu get up close and personal at the Nook Center. Mm. What has driven the Kaiju to bully our beloved Nook Center? Well. There is a language of love in the leveling of landmarks. Luckily, any er lucky. <laughs> there is a language of love in the leveling of landmarks. Lucky and each strike can communicate compatibility. Yeah. What you talking about, brevity? Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by went and destruction? Yes. Indeed. 
And Masaru is waiting for Gikachu's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. Masaru is so cute. Does Gikachu come here often? Yeah, all the time. I love it. What is it? Okay, I thought the butterfly was doing something sus there. Masaru is glad they have... Masaru is glad that they share a familiar place. Mm. How's Gigachu feeling? Flirtatious? Confident or spicy? I'm feeling flirty! Ah. Masaru is flattered but is seeking something serious. Everybody wants commitment nowadays. <laughs> is this Gigachu's first time dating a plant? Uh, yeah. Even though I thought you were a butterfly. Masaru likes that Gikachu is branching out. Mm. Masaru wants to know what first attracted Gikachu to her. Sight, smell, or sound? Smell. Ah. Masaru is a bit bashful about her pollen. Mm. Does Gikachu like the Nook Center? Yeah, I love it. It's almost like the game is telling me the first few dates, like, getting to learn more about somebody is fun, but, like, when you, like, break down their, like, inner demons, it sucks. Their synchronized strikes, reverberate a natural connection. Mm. Does the Gikachu kiss on the first date? I'm neutral. <laughs> I would like to, uh. but I'm neutral. Gikachu's moderation is alluring to Masura. <gasps> they like being teased. On to the next. Let's go to New York. Aww. I would not have predicted a thrice between Kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well. We shouldn't expect them to be compatible in every area. Yeah. I've been on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we witnessed. <laughs> they just need time to grow and get to know each other. Mm. I guess we're still getting to know Gigachu ourselves. Ah. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is the manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lucky? Nah. Disconnected. My phone is like a digital umbilical cord. Mother has already called and texted me twice during this segment. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, Lucky always... Ab I love Lucky's dialogue. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll go get your groceries once we finish broadcasting. Oh. It looks like Gikachu is trying to connect right now with the Statue of Liberty. Mm. Does Gikachu enjoy games? Yeah. I love video games. Masaru appreciates Gigachu's playful side. Wait, I think Masaru is my favorite. Mm. Could, Gig could Gigachu be also and it doesn't share their political beliefs? Um, I'm neutral because you love games and gamers are not political. They hate seeing politics in games. Neither one has a strong political preference. Mm. Is Gigachu philosophical? No. Masaru is looking for somebody serious and fun, which is me. Masaru should date me. Peace in 17. Gikachu just keeps in accordance with nature. Mm. Does Gikachu kiss on the second date? Yeah! Yes! They do. I think Masaru is my favorite, actually. <laughs> We gotta get the good ending with Masura. Diatros Amazonas. Hey. Brevity. Do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu poo? Nah. No, that's number two. Okay. The question that is intriguing your audience is how you are so in tune with the intention of these kaiju. Is it your degree in communications? Yeah. I practice Inshin Denshin Do. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Uh -uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Mm. What's your impression on Masra? Oh. She seeks a simply nurturing parental partner. No, she wants a mommy. No. Oh. Will incompatible answers come off as incompetent? <laughs> Commitment seems more important than competence to Masra. With time and dedication, their compatibility should naturally grow where it matters most. Oh. Let's see her inside in action or learn more. The Teatro Amazon is now. I ain't gonna be nobody's mommy. 
Mm -mm. Is Gikachu aquatic? No, I hate the ocean. Huh. Gikachu or Gikachu could use some swimming lessons. How does Gikachu feel about mountains? I'm neutral. Mossor has flown over a few. What are Gikachu's hobbies? Woodworking, gardening, or games? I love video games. Oh, probably gardening. That was such an easy answer, and I threw. Mossor isn't good at games, but she enjoys them. What is Gikachu's opinion on precipitation? I'm neutral. Because it gets your wings wet. Mossor is more participatory when it comes to precipitation. What is Gikachu's favorite animal? Sloth? Tardigrade or lemming? Lemming is a fish, right? I'm gonna say the second one because I, I assume it's a bug. Yeah. Mossor is impressed by the tardigrade's disordered protein cocoon. I knew it was a bug. What is Gikachu's outlook on life? Optimistic, pessimistic, or pragmatic? I'm an optimist. They share a hope for the future. Deal breaker question. Is Gikachu a naturalist? Yes. You're of nature, so why would I not love it? Mossor is a national park personified. Yeah. Mano del Desierto. Oh. Brevity, I think I'm getting the hang of this inchendention dosto. Oh. What does your heart tell you? Oh. I sensed that was a great date. <laughs> Who was it the kiss? <laughs> it was the kiss. Mm. Brevity, do Kaiju like their landmarks they like to love them? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Oh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well, Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to my landscaper. Dude, he, he's risen everybody. Oh. The unstoppable Kaiju couple Masichu just landed at the Mono del Desierto. Let's go live to the scene. Does Gigachu care for concrete? No. I love nature. Ah. Mossword can make do with any material. Is Gigachu musical? I'm neutral. Ah. Mossword may be wanting a more melod. Mossword may be wanting a more melodic mate. Hmm. Is Gigachu big on bridges? No, because I can fly over them. You can carry me. Mossor can just fly across. Yeah, neutral date. It's fine. Any date that talks about hobbies or interests, it's like a toss-up. I'm risen like crazy, y'all. May I? We have a special interview with Major Pangendrum. Uh, thank you, thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh. We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Mm. We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Huh? I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. I don't think kaiju watch our program because no one has paid me a visit yet. Yeah. I suppose it will be alright to declassify a little since military might will always overcome love. The electrified and concrete fortified ramparts erected by our engineers will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. Masichu is planting seeds of love over at the Moai. Mm -hmm. What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live to the scene. And you know what else I must tell you? That it's time for you to follow because guys we are another 30 minutes in the stream so you're new, if you're new here click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Mm. Is Gigachu afraid of heights? No, because you can fly. Both are ready to take their relationship to great heights. Mm -hmm. What type of music does Gigachu like? J pop, folk, or silly? Silly. 
They laughed together over the lumberjack song. Mm -hmm. What kind of conversation is this Gikachu? Listener, talker, or somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. Because Masra seems like they're both extra and introverted. Both demonstrate moderation in their conversations. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Yes. Easy question. Lasting love will wilt so easily. I haven't failed the date yet. It's going well. Ah. As our Kaiju couple's relationship grows deeper, so too shall the reporting. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive in Gigachu? Do they have a dark secret? Spill the tea, Brevity. Well. Kikachu appears to wear their heart on their sleeve. Oh. They have that heart motive down. <laughs> we'll be focusing on the mild mannered maiden of Moss, known as Masra. Oh. Are the tales true of Masra being the champion of Vancouver? Huh? And so far as much as she is fond of where she lives, I suppose. Oh. What made Masra venture forth from her hidden habitat? <laughs> Masra seems to be in search of a stable mate with whom to build a home. Oh. Must Gikachu give up globe trotting to become a guardian for this relationship to fully flourish? Mm. Gikachu abstainly only travels for love and their destination might just be for Masura. Ooh. Is there any reason that Gikachu might change course? Mm. Possibly if Gikachu doesn't share Masura's passion for parenting. What? Masura wants a mommy. Not- oh my mm. god. Surely Masura has more motivations than mere marital instinct. Ah. She enjoys nature as well as nurturing. <laughs> It looks like she loves to smash, too. Let's go live for their latest date. Mm. Which habitat does Gigachu prefer? The big city, a small town, or the countryside? Countryside. Oh. Monster's home is a rainforest, after all. Mm -hmm. Which does Gigachu prefer? Follow a plan, go with the flow, or neither? Go, follow, go with the flow. Masara can be accommodating, but would rather have notice. Mm. Which qualities would Gigachu wish to pass on to future generations? Atomic breath, hugs, or compassion? Compassion. Easy. I want kind kids. They value cultivating compassion. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu... Is, is Gigachu moved by dro don't? <laughs> Dude, I can't. Is Gigachu moved by domes? No. Huh. What? Gigachu is missing out on Masra's curves. Okay, dude. How does Gigachu feel about what? I love it. These are for the forest. Both are unsurprisingly pro plant. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? Destruction of the rainforest, melting ice caps, or KPG extinction event? The deforestation of the forest. We should not have done that at all. Honestly, L human. For Masra is becoming a mother. Wait, Masra has kids? They didn't tell me that. I guess Masra is mother. Chichen Itzia. Ah. Masi Chu continues their powerful pursuit of love. Oh. Their relationship has grown so strong. Oh. Not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Major. Oh. The new. Er, wrong voice. <laughs> A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relate. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stat stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Well. As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you think. Mm. How do I how do I know as strong I think they are? Uh. Our satellites have captured Gigachu in a compromising situation. <gasps> Golly! Uh. Gosh. Yes. 
Yes. Gikachu was photographed frolicking through the forest with several seductive sequoias. Uh, like a hike. Mm -hmm. Or a nature walk? Yeah. Call it what you want, but when Masra learns of Gikachu's behavior, their relationship will be uprooted. <laughs> we have already sent drones to expose Gikachu's salacious acts. Oh. You better go laugh at the scene to see what happens. I was just walking in the woods with my friends. Mm -hmm. Does Gikachu like rock? Yeah. <laughs> Music and the material. <laughs> that was a rock solid reply. <laughs> Get it? Does Gikachu like literature? I'm neutral. Gikachu crushed a couple comic book stores. Mm -hmm. How is Gikachu keeping secrets? I'm bad because you want commitment. What? Monster wouldn't mind a little confidentiality. Mm. Does Gikachu dream? Yeah. I dream of you, Monster. Oh. Gikachu sleeps like a log, a dreamy log. Mm. Deal breaker question. Was Gikachu con convoring with Sequoias? They said they don't mind a little bit of lies. What's convoring? Oh. That doesn't mean smashing, right? But I lied. I will do anything it takes to keep this relationship alive. It was a platonic visit with some old growth guys from Gigachu's past. See, I was meeting up with my friends. We did not smash. Wink. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Huh. Masachu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Queen Sidoria is currently being courted by the Chimera cutie, Chimetria. Mm. Chimetria is actually one third princess, prince, and avid windsurfer. Oh. Double royalty and a shared interest in water sports is a wonderful match. Yes. This triple couple recently traveled to the palace of Versailles for a luxurious rendezvous. Huh. I wonder if Gigachu and Masra will be going somewhere as glamorous. Oh. Let's go live for their latest date. Get yeah, at Mount Rushmore. So nice. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu desserts? Yeah. Oh wait, desserts. No, I thought it said dessert, like sweet. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so silly. It's desert, not dessert. I'm neutral. <laughs> Masra is an ambulant. Masra is amb ambivalent. Masra is ambivalent. Ambivalent. Masra is ambivalent when it comes to arid environments. Mm. Let's well, Gikachu's take some walls. I hate them. What? Oh. Gikachu doesn't get what Masra sees in walls. Mm -hmm. Is Gikachu scientific? Yeah. What? Ah. Masra wants to be more than study buddies. Mm. Which best describes Gikachu? Peacekeeper, troublemaker, or neither? I'm a peacekeeper. Their preference for peace is mutual. Is Gikachu into piercings? No. Yeah. Both prefer to be all natural. Is Gikachu into fitness? Yeah. Do plants exercise? Mm. Does Gikachu compose poetry? I'm neutral. Always answer neutral. Ah. Lovingly cultivated devastation devotion to verdant vision. No, that was a bad date. Oh no. <gasps> no, I wanted to have a no date. No bad day run, Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, damn. It's Jover. Oh. The stakes of dating are much higher now that the military is involved. Oh. Their relationship is unlikely to progress if dates aren't great. Oh. oh, how often relations falter in the face of military mind? Uh -huh. Is that a common relationship problem? Yeah. Indeed it is. <sighs> I did it a sniper. <laughs> we had our sights on each other for quite some time, but our aims differed in the end. <laughs> You have the most unique war stories, Lucky. Huh. 
You only lose in love when you stop fighting. Oh. Masachu hasn't quit either. Let's go live to the scene. What is Gigachu what is Gigachu's top pet peeve? Unfunctionality, smoking, or public breastfeeding? Um, they're a mother, so they're gonna get mad if I say public feeding is bad. Smoking is bad because it kills the earth and you. L smoker. When there's smoke, there's fire, and Masra is not fond of fire. What is Gigachu's biggest fear? The woods, responsibility, or an inadequacy? Responsibility is what you need to be a parental figure. The woods, I love the woods. So, inadequacy. I'll never be enough. Masra's supportive and encouraging nature seems to alleviate that fear. Which describes Gigachu socially? Introvert, extrovert, or neither? I'm an extrovert. What? Masra is only open with trusted confidence. Does Gigachu follow current events? Um, I'm neutral, because, like, I love the Earth, but I don't like politics. Ah. Gigachu has destroyed several radio stations. Mm -hmm. How does Gigachu relax? Walks, gardening, or games gardening? Monster might be another dub. <laughs> Monster finds Gigachu's gardening techniques very relaxing. Mm. Deal breaker question. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Yes. They asked us that last time and said neutral and they said they love poetry. Planting a kiss, taking a chance, botanical bliss, kissing a plant. Come on, kiss. Yeah, we're back in it. So close to Act 3. Space Needle. Despite military mind, Masuchu's love connections continue to bloom. Oh. Major Panjandrum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to this unstoppable love affair. We are exploring alternative meta We are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. <laughs> we have discovered a terrible secret the Masura is hidden deep within her forest home. Yeah, she's a mother. <laughs> Not Carmada Wallbrand Provincial Park. Uh. Numerous monstrous eggs were shrouded amongst the mist. Basra's offspring. Uh. Didn't we cover that? Well. Once Gigatru discovers that Masra is a single mother, their relationship will be finished. Hmm. Will it though? Gigachu seems cool with kids. <laughs> In the extreme unlikely event Gigachu actually likes children, we have a secret weapon currently under construction. Uh. Major? Thank you for the glimpse of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live to their date in progress. Hmm. Does Gigachu think exes can be friends? Yes, because obviously you have an ex. Wait, what? Oh. Masura sees it as a door to drama. Hmm. Does size matter? No. I love how small you are, Masura. Both have lungs... Both have love for things big and small. Mm. Is Gigachu popular? Hell yeah. Everybody loves me. Mm. Gigachu is a social butterfly. Mm. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Green, pink, or earth tones? Earth tones, because that's what you are, Mothra. Mm. Both favor earth tones. Mm. Deal breaker question. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Married with children? On top of the world? Or just to be with Masura? Married with kids? You gotta play their game? They continue to grow in the same direction. Kith. Yeah. Finally, Act 3. Love will grow. Oh! Major Pandradrum is back with a special announcement. <laughs> Our efforts have finally come to fruition. The Kaiser dating season is at an end. Mm -hmm. How can you be so confident? Yeah. Especially in light with all the prior failures. Well. 
The military's ultimate relationship eradication robot, Mechachu, has been deployed. Mechachu's advanced systems are specifically designed to evaluate the relationship and exploit their weaknesses. Uh. Mechachu will reveal that Gigachu is overwhelming. Mechachu will reveal to Gigachu the overwhelming responsibility of being a parent, not just a lover. Uh. Masra is already balancing the needs of her offspring with her own relationship. <laughs> is this the end of love? Let's go after the climatic confrontation. Uh oh. It's been a while since we've done this. So you think your love is pretty good, huh? Yes. We're in love. I'm not gonna let you destroy us. Their love is the biggest around. Where was Moxie Chu's first date? <laughs> Nook Center? Mono del Desierto or Forgot? It was the Nook Center. Imagine saying you forgot. It's literally a 50-50, you can just guess. Gigachu remembers the first day like it was yesterday because it happened yesterday. Does Gigachu know Masra's most formative experience? Metamorphosis, motherhood, or meeting Gigachu? Motherhood. Even though Masra didn't like tell me, like I know. Masra is big on being a mom. What is Gigachu's sign? Virgo, Capricorn, or Aquarius? Oh, um, it's just random. Capricorn. Ah. Space goats are way over Mosra's head. Does Gigachu recognize Mosra's greatest weakness? Intelligence, chocolate, or fire types? Okay. Saying that they're not intelligent is like so mean to say in front of them. Chocolate? I'm gonna say fire types. Oh. Gigachu might be thinking of another game. Will Gigachu accept that Masra loves her children more than Gigachu? Ooh. Yeah, I guess. What? What? Oh. That's great, but Masra has misgivings about her self perceived shortcomings. Does Gigachu recognize that they aren't compatible with Masra? No. <laughs> I don't think you can win this fight! Oh. Masra wonders if she's right for Gigachu. Has Gigachu ever been bested by a robotic rival before? Um, Not in this universe! What's with these dastardly loaded questions? Okay, this is meta. No. Our first bad date. Ugh. Romance is dead. Overcome by cold, uncaring algorithms. Romance is dead. Overcome by cold, uncaring algorithms and a giant robot. Aww. Their love seemed unstoppable. <sighs> the military machine was stronger. The largest love story ever told concludes anticlimatically. Hmm. Sometimes you can make all the right choices and still fail. Oh. That's very true, Lucky, but sometimes there are no right choices. If a mossy matronly. Matronly? If a mossy matronly moth couldn't make a family with a romantosaurus, what hope do the rest of us have? Mm -hmm. Beating a giant robot in combat is a pretty hard buy for love, Lucky. Yeah. But brevity. Beating a giant robot is exact. Beating a giant robot is a <laughs> But brevity. Beating a giant robot is is a I'm drinking some water. <laughs> <clears throat> but brevity, beating a giant robot is exactly what these kaiju must do for love. Mm. If love is a battlefield oh. Which is it? Then you only truly lose the war when you stop fighting. Yeah. That means it's still up to Gigachu. <laughs> and Masra. Yeah. And viewers like you. Oh my god. Oh. I had thought of Masi Chu's relationship had grown unstoppable. <sighs> Will love be left to wither and die? Yeah. It looks like Gigachu is going to get relationship advice. Oh. We're counting on you, Gigachu. Okay, let's get advice. Tefra respects Gigachu and Masra's commitment to family. Mm. They cannot allow a harsh environment to destabilize their relationship. Mm. Relatability is 
or reliability. Reliability is fundamental for enduring. Too many big words. The people who wrote this game are like writers. They have all these weird vocab. Reliability is fundamental for enduring affection, and a solid foundation will allow their love to flourish. Aww. Sustainable growth is so beautiful. Mega Rickus admires Gigachu and Monster's empathy and understanding. Mm. Remember that their relationship is rooted in shared mm. values. Do not begrudge each other over baggage. So compassion and kindness. Yeah. Wait, that's so real. And reap the fruits of affection. I think I'm just learning. I love emotional maturity still. I haven't changed. Gyaradon gets that the true strength of Gigachu and Masaru's relationship is in its commitment. Mm. Lasting growth will naturally be achieved through consistency and time. Mm. It doesn't matter whose love is stronger as long as you're growing together. <laughs> Gyaradon has a great relationship routine. Ah. Queen Sidora is impressed by Gigachu and Masaru's mutual devotion. Mm. Problems that otherwise seem insurmountable are often overcome with teamwork. Mm. Their effort is evident in their commitment and will grow their love even in failure or defeat. <laughs> but all the better in victory. Okay, the final advice. Uh. Terpio is touched by Gigachu and Masaru's empathy and kindness. Mm. If both are committed to growth, they should not dwell on shortcomings. Mm. Cherish the opportunity to nurture one another and find joy in each other's development. Oh. Those are excellent techniques for cultivating love. Huh? Gigachu harvested advice, but where is Masaru gone? Always in Antarctica. Okay, we're gonna save our relationship. Please, I need this. I do not want another L. Fight for love. I'm gonna win. <sighs> our ongoing coverage of Kaiju courtship must finally come to a close. Their relationship has withered away, and little is left to report. Aww. It's not like you to give up on love, Lucky. Well... I'm not the one giving up. Yes. But Gikachu isn't either. They're heading to Antarctica. <sighs> Probably to numb the pain of a broken heart. Mm. I'm not sure, sir, Lucky. There appears to be something there. Oh. What's there? Is it Masra? Is it Hope? <clears throat> it's the end. <gasps> Major Panjadrum! Uh. Why are you here? <clears throat> we knew that their relationship was too strong for a single defeat. So you prepared a finishing blow. What, what are you planning? Uh. We have airlifted Masra's eggs to our secret Antarctic base. <sighs> Oh my god, they're kidnapping babies! Classic military. Why would you do that? Well. Mechju will confront the couple once more with the weaknesses of their relationship, and with Mosra's eggs held hostage, she will be forced to choose her offspring over her lover. Mm. That's so evil! In the improbable event that Mosra chooses her lover over her offspring, is she really the motherly monster that Gigachu fell in love with? I think not. It would seem that you presented Masra with an impossible choice. <laughs> Gigachu will choose love, and since love will find a way, Gigachu will choose to find a way. Oh. Let's go live to see if love survives. Let's go live to see if love survives. 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 Let's go live to see if love survives this climactic confrontation. No, but them stealing babies is, babies is so evil. I am back for more. Yes. I will fight for this relationship. Get him. <laughs> Mossy Chew's back for love. Where was Mossy Chew's first kiss? The Atro Amazon, Statue of Liberty, or on the lips? We were in the Americas. I think it was Statue of Liberty. Okay, thank God. That kiss was unforgettable. What are Masra's love languages? Time er, what are Masra's love languages? Time and touch, service and affirmation, giving and sliven. Um, it says in the chart. Time and touch. Okay. That's what I assumed it was. Time and touch. I I just don't want to lose. Their love is so eloquent. What is Ginga Chu's worst habit? Nose picking, being sedentary, or snoring? <laughs> what? Sedentary? Like not moving? 
Okay, I think that means you're on land, right? Okay, neutral is fine. I'll take it. Moss Red is a mighty lazy day of lounging once in a while. Well, Gigachu accept that Moss Red loves her children more than Gigachu. I'm neutral. Moss Red deserves a more definitive answer than that. How is Gigachu suited for Moss Red? Tenderness, kisses, or drought tolerant? Tenderness. Because I want to be a parental figure, like Masra. Pikachu is a big sweetheart. Mm. Pikachu wishes to express what they love most about Masra. Compassion, beauty, or wisdom? Compassion. Oh. Masra's compassion is Pikachu's primary attraction. Yes! Love wins! Gigachu rose to Mechachu's challenge and the responsibility of being a parent. Mm. What is exactly what Masura wanted in a mate? <laughs> the military thought that Gigachu was only in it for the romance. Aww. Gigachu has enough love for a whole family, and there's nothing stronger than family. Yes. Especially a family of kaiju. Oh. Are there any other kaiju families? Mm. I suppose someone would like to have a play again to find out. Bye-bye. See you next time. Babies, that's so cute. Oh. Okay, out of all the characters, I liked Masra, but not because like Masra was like a, a mother. I liked Masra's personality the most. There we go. Finally, another good ending. That means I'm two for four. I'm like a fifty percent risk rate right now. Okay, we gotta wait for the credits. You know who else might have to wait a bit? And I'll run the ad now that credits are running? The non-subs. Because guys, we are three hours in. We got two more people to raise in romance. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. You can also link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe to see if you got a free sub available. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah, you can't skip the credits. two left we got the water monster or the jock now i want to save my most anticipated for last i want to do the sea monster i have no idea what their personality is like but that's the one i've been wanting to pursue for the start so let's do the jock next oh an enormous flexing fowl has fallen from the firmament over africa mm. this bird's appearance shares similarity to the legend of the rock the zoo and the hakawai but the Audubon Society has designated this guy Gavardhan. Oh. Has Gigachu gone from bird watch to wingman? Oh. Gigachu and Gavardhan display destructive desire at Mount Kilimanjaro. Hmm. What has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Mount Kilimanjaro? Well. There is a language of love in the leveling of landmarks. Lucky in each tribe can communicate compatibility. What? what you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that kaiju are wooed by one to destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Garadon is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. Ooh, he's as tall as me. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu come here often? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Garadon remembered seeing them around. How is Gigachu feeling? Sick, sensitive, or lazy? Sick like wicked or sick like cough? I'll say sick like wicked. Okay, that's... Oh. <laughs> Garadon hopes that Gigachu isn't contagious. Is this Gigachu's first time dating a bird? Yeah. <sighs> Garuda doesn't usually date dinosaurs, but is excited to make an exception. Garuda wants to know what first attracted Gikachu to him. Wingspan, plumage, or muscles? MUSCLES! Ah. Garuda might be seeking something more than physical prowess. G does Gikachu like m Mount- Does Gikachu like Mount Kilimanjaro? Hell yeah. I love Destroy. Hell yeah. They're both pumped out about Mount Kilimanjaro. Does Gikachu kiss on the first day? Hell yeah! Yeah! If the conditions are right. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah! Okay, our first kiss was at Mount Kilimanjaro. Hey. Brevity, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu poop? No. <laughs> no, that's number two. Okay. The question that is intriguing your audience is how are you so in tune with the intention of these kaiju? Is it your degree in communications? Yeah. I practice Inshin Den What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Uh -uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Mm. What do you glean about Garadon? Ah. He looks tough, but I sense he's seeking something strong. He looks tough, but I sense he is seeking someone strong to lean on. Ah. Do you think Garadon will interpret incompatible answers as a sign of weakness? <laughs> Kikachu is just warming up right now. They will have plenty of time to figure out if their strengths and weaknesses are complementary. Oh. Let's see your inside and action at the barge. Wait, let's see your inside and action at the barge, Khalifa now. Okay, so I should go to places that have high heights. Hmm. Does Gigachu have a good relationship with their family? Hell yeah. Oh, nobody has a good relationship with their family. Garadon's family was always a bit bit. Garadon's family was always a bit distant even before he left the nest. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu dance? Yeah. <sighs> ah. Both are light on their feet. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's favorite animal? Harambe! Tardigrade or sloth? I'm gonna say the gorilla. Garadon has his beak out for Harambe. <laughs> has, has Gigachu been more affected by positive than negative experiences? Neutral. You know, I am soft, but also strong. They each have had their share of clear and cloudy skies. Deal breaker question. Does Gigachu enjoy an active lifestyle? Hell yeah. Look at these guns. Both Kaiju have beefcake dreams. Yeah, he might be the easiest route. Thank you, Bastas. Grez to power station. Oh. Brevity, I think I'm getting the hang of this Inshin Den Shindo stuff. Aww. What does your heart tell you? Aww. I sensed that was a great date. <laughs> was it the kiss? <laughs> it was the kiss. Mm. Brevity, do the kaiju like their landmarks that they elect to the level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Aww. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well. Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my personal trainer. Oh. The unstoppable Kaiju couple Garucho just crash landed at Ekebasta's Grass 2 power station. Let's go live at the scene. I wonder if you go to a landmark they don't like, they give you harder questions. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. What social cause is most important to Gikachu? Pollution, privacy, or immigration? Oh. 
Immigration because you fly. You don't want people flying over the border. No, no. Garudon is quite migratory. Oh, because birds migrate. Oh my god. I should have clicked. That should have clicked earlier for me. Which most describes Giga Chu? Peacekeeper, troublemaker, or neither? I'm a troublemaker. Oh. Garudon isn't one to ruffle feathers. Mm -hmm. How does Gigachu feel about wood? I'm neutral. Ah. Both prefer pumping iron, then, but both prefer pumping iron, but still respect wood. Mm. Does Gigachu dream? Hell yeah! I love dreaming. Ah. Gigachu dreams of flying with Garadon. Mm. Which does Gigachu prefer? Follow a plan. Go with the flow, or neither. Go with the flow. Garadon is flexible how he flexes. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu a history buff? No, I hate history. History is for nerds, am I right? Found it. Neither are interested in being that kind of buff. Mm. Deal breaker question. Garadon wants to know what's most attracts Gigachu to him. Temperance, wingspan, or compassion? This date is so close to being, like, decent. If I say wingspan, then it makes it seem like I just like him visually. But, like, he hasn't shared much. I'm gonna say temperance. Yes! I love how angry you are. Gigachu is smitten by a in spirit of discipline. on the wings of love. Tokyo Tower, another tall building. Ah. We have a special interview with Major Panchindrum. Ah. Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh. We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Mm. We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Uh -huh. I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. And I don't think the kaiju watch our program, because no one has paid me a visit just yet. Yeah. I suppose it will be alright to declassify a little since military mount will always overcome love. <laughs> our fighter just have scrambled in and control the airspace over even the most remotely romantic landmark. Oh. It seems that love is in the air at Tokyo Tower, not yet <laughs> not yet. What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live to the scene. Mm. Is Gigachu into fitness? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Gigachu wrecks gyms regularly. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into ornamentation? Yes, because you have feathers everywhere on you. <laughs> Both go for complex and colorful aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu educated? No, I'm not smart. I love that that dumb shit. <laughs> Gigachu is too cool for school. Mm. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Of course. Yeah, Garudon might be the easiest route. <laughs> Adversity is an evidence of love's weakness. It's opportunity to prove love's endurance. Yeah, look at us. Ah. As our kaiju couple's relationship intensifies, so too shall our analysis. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive on Gigachu? Do they have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Yeah. Gigachu appears to wear their heart on their sleeve. <laughs> they... They have that heart motive down. <laughs> we'll be focusing on the physically fit fowl known as Garadon. Oh. What's the word of... What's the word of this absurdly big bird? Oh. There are some manuscripts that depict a push-up contest between King Solomon... Swoloman. <laughs> That's funny. There are some manuscripts that depict a push-up contest between King Swoloman and a remarkably buff bird. <laughs> I remember that one. 
Garadon is really... I remember that one. Garadon is really looking great for his age. Also, Miori mythology tells us that Hubakai who lives above the sky and rarely lands. Huh. Could Guardian be that bird? And if so, why did he choose to land now? Aww. Kikachu's unrivaled love was likely what called Garadon down from the clouds. Okay. I have to admit that I am quite smitten by Gikachu as well. <laughs> Garadon's interest in self-improvement is readily apparent. Yeah. I also appreciate and applaud his preening. Mm. Kikachu's choices indicate that they share similar sentiments. Mm. What are their target areas? Well. Gikachu is shown to have the social and emotional intelligence to round out the relationship. Oh. Wait, we're literally opposites. That's why it's working. Oh my god, I should date a jock. Well, Garadon pushed himself to do socio-emotional crossfit. Mm. With a supportive partner like Gikachu, who knows what heights Garadon will reach? <laughs> Wasn't that one of the morals of King Swallowman's push-up contest? Yes. I believe it was. Let's see what lessons Garuchu has learned as we go live. I believe it was. Let's see what lessons Garuchu has learned as we go live to their latest date. Mm -hmm. What type of music does Gigachu like? Bird songs? Surf rock or pop rock? Bird songs. <laughs> oh. Both chirp cheerfully. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's biggest fear? Flying, failure, or commitment? Failure. He wants a committed. What? What? What the? Garadon keeps his eye on the prize, whatever that may be. Hmm. Which does Gigachu follow? Heart, head, heart, or electromagnetic or electromagnetic fields? I follow my heart. <laughs> I love love. Oh. Garadon will follow where Gigachu's heart leads. Mm. Does Gigachu like animals? I love it. Oh. Aww, Gigachu is friends with a flock of ducks. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker question. What was Gigachu's most formative experience? Golden Age of Flight, Melting Ice Caps, or KPG Extinction Event? Age of Flight. Man, he's such an easy route. Garadon's was reaching the stratosphere. I've yet to fail a date, or even have a mediocre day with Garadon yet. I think he's the one for me. Also, I gotta sneeze. Eiffel Tower. Ah. Gawacho continues. Gawacho continue their powerful pursuit of love. Aww. Their relationship has grown so strong. <laughs> huh, not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Major. Uh. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Well. As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you think. Mm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Uh. Our reconnaissance. Reconnaissance? <laughs> our reconnaissance aircraft has discovered information that will certainly cause their relationship to come crashing down. <gasps> Heavens! <laughs> to Mur... Murgatroyd? <laughs> to Murgatroyd. Yes. Yes. Garadon's ex is exponentially stronger than Gigachu. <gasps> huh. Is that so? Mm. We too are baffled by what Garadon would even bother dating a weaker kaiju. <laughs> Natural attraction? <laughs> Similar flight pads. Yeah. Regardless of the irrational reasons, if Gigachu wants what's best for Garadon, they will yield to the strongest suitor and depart the dating scene. No, you'll I'll just get woke. I'll get stronger. I'll get so strong. Our drones are already in flight to inform them of Gigachu and Feriority as we speak. Oh. We better go live to the scene to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu musical? No. Oh wait, no, he likes bird oh. songs. No. Gigachu is ignorant of bird song. Mm. I should remember from earlier. How did Gigachu feel about mountains? I love them. That's where our first kiss was. Both favor a high altitude lifestyle. Mm. What's Gigachu's takes on walls? I love them because I can fly over them. Wait, what? Oh. Walls, like many things, are beneath Garadon. Mm -hmm. 
Does Gigachu care for concrete? No, I hate it. I love flying. Wait, what? Oh. Gigachu isn't impressed. Concrete's incredible compre compressive. Gigachu isn't impressed by concrete's incredible compressive strength. No. Oh, he's hiding his eyes because he's crying. No. Big Ben. Oh. The stakes of dating are much higher now that the military is involved. Aww. Their relationship is unlikely to progress if great. Their relationship is. Their relationship is unlikely to progress if dates aren't great. Oh. oh, how often relations falter in the face of military might? Uh -huh. Is that a common relationship problem? Yeah. Indeed, it is. <sighs> I dated a fighter pilot. <laughs> Our relationship was shot down over the Pacific when my dear ace left me for a BOMB show bombarder. Hmm. You have the most unique war stories, Lucky. Well... You only lose in love when you stop fighting. Oh. Kirichu hasn't quit either. Let's go to the scene. In all the images they show of Garudon, they're shown by Big Ben. Does Gikachu like metal? I'm neutral. I'm answering neutral if I'm not sure at all. I need to uh... save this relationship. Garadon sees much more might and metal. Mm. What is Gigachu's top pet peeve? Spitting, tailgating, or messiness? Spitting, because that shows lack of respect. What? Oh. Uh, spitting isn't a habit of beaked folks. Mm. Which does Gigachu prefer for a partner? Younger, older, or same age? Uh, younger, because he's a Chad. <laughs> Garadon is no spring chicken, but he's young at heart. Mm. Does Gigachu like rock? Hell yeah. It's metal as heck. Both respect the natural strength of stone. Mm. Does Gigachu like literature? No, that's for nerds. <laughs> no in flight magazines here. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker question. Is Gigachu jealous of Garudon's potentially more powerful ex? No, I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> Gigachu's strength lies in love, and Gigachu's love is the strongest. Come on, give me a kiss. Yeah! Okay, we also know that he likes walls, so Bob Al Mansour. Huh. Gaochu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these Oh wait, that's the wrong voice. In our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Mushroom Maiden Megaricus is a very Oh no. <laughs> Wait, this sentence is crazy. Mushroom Maiden Megaricus is a is in a very strange relationship with a college student turned kaiju, Calvin Kalium. I hope they're not the professor. Uh, How did that happen? Hmm. Megaris Megaris Megaricus just thinks that science is very seductive. Yeah. I concur, but doesn't mean that this is a one sided affair. Well Perhaps at first, but the fair fungus seems to have grown on Calvin. Wait, it seems like the fungi person just genuinely can't fall for anybody. They're always set up with someone. Oh no. Oh. It looks like their latest date was at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. Yes. Megaricus was confused since it was neither in the air nor in space. <laughs> that is a very confusing museum. Hmm. I wonder if that's why we've not seen Garucho go there. Huh. Speaking of Garucho, what are they up to? Oh. Let's all find out as we go live to their latest date. Does Gikachu think exes can be friends? No. Oh! Oh. Garuda likes to keep things capacient. Capa- mm. capa- capastic. Capatic? I don't know. I literally don't know what that word is. What is Gikachu's favorite holiday? Festivus? Katanika? Or Spanakopita? I don't know any of these. Let's do festival. <laughs> Oh. 
They both feel too... They both feel that two few holidays have feats of strength. Mm. What qualities would Gigachu wish to pass to future generations? Emotional intelligence, powerful tail, or discipline? Ooh, tail is good, but also discipline. Discipline. Because that's what you do when you exercise. Got right on agrees with that. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu vegan? Or birds vegan? I mean, we love animals. That's what we told Garucha earlier. I'm gonna say neutral just to be safe. I don't know. Ah. Neither one is a bird of prey. Okay, so I'm not vegan. Mm. Is Gikachu into piercings? Yes, I love ornamentations. What? Ah. Gikachu is into Garudon's piercing green gaze. Mm. What is the most important reason for marriage? Security, friendship, or tax reasons? Security. <laughs> tax reasons. <laughs> it's actually usually like a diva. You should always have a spotter. Mm. Deal breaker question. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Hell no, that's for nerds. What? Oh. Iron rebar rending. Concrete crumbling, broken heart. It seems like everybody likes poetry. Oh no! God damn it. Space Needle, that's tall. <gasps> oh, he's so shit. That's the second time Garucho's been shot down. Aww. They may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. Hmm. How will they recover from this loss? Well. They need to continue to rely on their physical superiority over the military, but they might explore strengthening their relationship in other areas. Oh. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, right? Yeah. Well said. And it looks like they're ready to give it another go right now. Hmm. Is Gigachu scientific? No, let's for nerds. Wait, what? Oh. What? <sighs> Gigachu's romantic designs aren't sound. Hmm. What is Gigachu's opinion on precipitation? Um, neutral, because like sweat is cool, but I don't know if I like it. Ah. Garado doesn't like low visibility flights. Mm. What is Gigachu's outlook on life? Optimistic, pessimistic, or pragmatic? Optimistic. I love being happy. Both have high hopes. Mm -hmm. What describes Gigachu socially? Introvert, extrovert, or neither? I'm an extrovert. Wait, what? Ah. Garudon may be too cool, aloof, and aloft for Gigachu. Mm. What is Gigachu most proud of? Muscles, cuddles, or hustle? Hustle. No way it was muscles. Ah. Garudon isn't one to brag, but he once broke Mach 3. No, that's a neutral date. Aw, man. Okay, the thumbs up is cool. Found it. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, no, no. Statue of Liberty. I have to win this next date. I have to. Oh. The kaiju and the military seem to have come to the stalemate. Ah. Major Panjanon joins us again for another update. Mm. How will this situation play out, Major? Well. The military must attempt. The military must admit that the kaiju are far more passionate and persistent than we had anticipated. Oh. Since it appears that we cannot destroy their love outright, we have decided to establish a demilitary zone for the kaiju to continue cavorting. Oh. What an unexpected peaceful solution. Uh -huh. But assuming that they already remain in the zone, won't they simply continue the destructive romance that you set out to stop? Uh -huh. Every aspect of the zone will strategically... Every aspect of the zone will be strategically calibrated with military precision to restrict romantic impulses. Uh -huh. We are, co we are calling it Operation Friend Zone. Ah. Will Garuchu achieve a decisive victory, or will they be banished forever to the Friend Zone? Oh. Let's go live and see for ourselves. Okay, I literally have to win this date. I have to. Could Gigachu be with someone who didn't share their political beliefs? I'm neutral. Ah. When soaring it out, so borders and boundaries become a bit of a blur. Mm. Is Gigachu ready to settle down in one place? Hell yeah, brother. What? What? Huh. 
He literally said he came from the heavens to find a mate and settle down. Garadon isn't ready to roost. Mm -hmm. Does Gikachu stay on top of current events? Hell yeah, brother. No, we're breaking up. We're breaking up. Man. It's always politics that ruins everything. Garadon stays on top of the stratosphere, not terrestrial events. Mm. Is Gikachu into sports? Oh uh, yeah, easy question. Hell yeah, brother. Gikachu stomps through stadiums whenever they can. What kind of conversation list is Gikachu? Listener, talker, or somewhere in between? In between? Because they said they were like a uh, neutral personality. They are doers. Mm -hmm. What are Gikachu's hobbies? Swimming, exercise, or woodworking? Exercise. Hell yeah, brother. Both are very fond of fitness. Mm. Does Gikachu compose poetry? Do break a question. Oh wait, I need to destroy the monument. When I said I hate poetry, he was very mad about it. He wasn't neutral, so I'm gonna say I love poetry. Yes! Oh my god, I saved the relationship. Oh my god. Debris upon the ground, love is in the air. Yes, we're back in it. Oh, I thought oh, I need one more. I need one more date. Oh no. To the mountains where we had our first kiss, but like it was a different mountain. Oh. Gaurachu continues to soar on the wings of love without regard for military airspace. Oh. Major Panjano joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to this unstoppable love affair. We are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. We expect that Gigachu will lose interest in Gowardon as the feral fowl's health wanes. Oh. <gasps> Is Gowardon ill? Uh. Gowardon has been exposed to the great big bird flu, a biological weapon engineered for the bird apocalypse. What? The what now? Uh. Humanity has long feared a bird apocalypse. The most expected something more akin to a bird demic of the birds. We were prepared for every contingency, including a single apocalyptic bird. This is all news to me. Uh. Isn't biological warfare a violation of both the Geneva Convention and bird law? Uh. All is fair in love and war. This is both. Uh. How are you certain that Gowardon will never recover? How are you certain that Gowardon will not recover that got how are you so certain that Garadon will not recover, or that Giga choose a function will falter? <laughs> we have a secret weapon currently under construction if it comes to that unlikely event. Ah. Major, thank you for a glimpse of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live to their date in progress. Yeah, he's literally admitting to, like, worldwide war crimes. Mm. Oh, he looks so sad now. He's sick. Is Giga Chu big on bridges? I love bridges. Oh, he he's not fighting anymore. Oh. The kaiju find a shared interest in tensile strength. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu artistic? Neutral. Ah. Garadon's body beautification is beyond Gigachu's understanding. Mm -hmm. What is Gigachu's diet like? Carrion, insects, or nectar? What is carrion? Okay, I need I need to look this up because I literally cannot fail this date. I cannot. You also you know who also can't? The non-followers, because guys, we're another 30 minutes in. So if we're new here, click that follow button. You get to type and you get emotes. Okay, carrion is the decaying flesh flesh of dead animals. So like Crows and vultures eat that, so I'm gonna say carrion. No! Huh. Garadon doesn't care for carrion. Which does Gigachu go for? Warm weather, cold climate, or clement temperature? Clement. Garadon is migratory and keeps it clement. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu mathematical? That's for nerds. Hell no. 
Okay, one more question, I think. <laughs> Both like showing the work, but not math. Mm. Deal breaker question. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? In an echelon, building a nest, or just to be at the Garudon? Building a nest, building a nest. <gasps> No. No. Their destinations are different. No, we're breaking up. No. Oh. The world's most powerful romantics were not as passionate as once predicted. <gasps> the Kaiju couple have been quarantined in the military's friend zone. Aww. Though the romantic relationship didn't work out, they are still workout buddies. <sighs> Will Gigachu return to the dating scene soon? Yeah. Hopefully after some time for self-reflection and self-actualization, we will see Gigachu again in a new game. How did I fail? It's like the easiest route I that we've played so far today. God damn it. Okay, the final love interest. Oh. Hello. This is so sad. <sighs> oh. Okay, the final love interest. The multi-headed dragon. Oh. A stately three-headed sea serpent has suddenly surfaced in the Indian Ocean. Mm. The aquatic triumvirate. Tri triumvirate. The aquatic triumvirate purportedly holds authority over the denizens of the deep and the, the aquatic triumvirate pur, pur, dude this is such a weird sentence the aquatic triumvirate purportedly holds authority over the denizens of the deep and has been dubbed queen sedora by prominent oceologist seem seem oh my god <laughs> The aquatic triumvirate purportedly holds authority over the denizens of the deep and has been dubbed Queen Stora by prominent oceanolog oceanologist Steve Zizzo. Oh. Gigachu has gained audience of, with Gigachu has gained audience with Queen Sedora. Okay, so we gotta go please with the water. Of course, the lighthouse. Uncommonly charming Gigachu catches aquatic Queen Sedora at One Fathom Bank Lighthouse. Mm. What has driven the Kaiju to bully our beloved One Fathom Bank Lighthouse? Well. There's a language of love in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What? What you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that Kaiju are wooed by went and destruction? Yes. Indeed. And Queen Sedora is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I will try to narrate the data as we go live at the scene. Does Gigachu come here often? Uh, yeah. Every day, actually. Queen Sidora is eager for Gigachu to show them around. Mm -hmm. How is Gigachu feeling? Free, honored, or cheeky? I'm feeling free. Ah. Queen Sidora is restricted by their station, but is inspired by Gigachu's spirit. Mm -hmm. Is this Gigachu's first time dating royalty? Oh my god, they're a queen? I didn't realize it was like actually real. Oh. Queen Sidora is glad that Gigachu is down to earth. Mm -hmm. Queen Sidora wants to know what first attracted Gigachu to them. Faces, scales, or status? The faces. Ah. Queen Sidora hopes that Gigachu is more multi-faced than they seem so far. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like one fathom bank lighthouse? Hell yeah. I love destroying it. Queen Sidora is delighted to have surface, but for one Fathom Bank Lighthouse and triply for Gigachu. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu kiss on the first date? I'm neutral. Ah. Gigachu's diplomatic effort is appreciated, even if Queen Sidora would have preferred to make a splash. Dude, if you kiss the queen on the first date, that's gonna get on TMZ. Testing the waters. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's any more water landmarks. The island is kind of in the water. Aww. I would not have predicted a thrice 
A try. Why do you keep using the rest? I would not have predicted a trice between Kaiju to be so underwhelming. Well, we shouldn't expect them to be compatible in every area. Huh. I've been on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we witnessed. <laughs> they need a chance to test the waters and get to know each other. Hmm. I guess we're still getting to know Gigachu ourselves. Oh. Some experts are speculating that. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is a manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lucky? Hey. Now would be a good time to remind our audience that the views expressed on this program may not reflect the views of the station or its parent company. Please enjoy our digital content. Oh. It looks like Gikachu is trying to connect right now with the Moai. Wait, their legs? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Does Gikachu think exes can be friends? Sure, why not? You probably have a lot of exes because you have three heads. Queen Sidora's policy is to maintain diplomatic relations with past suitors. Oh wait, that actually makes sense. Does Gigachu dream? Hell yeah. I dream of you and being in the castle. Gigachu dreams of being under the sea with their queen. Does Gigachu have a good relationship with their family? Diplomacy, yes. I'm speedrunning. Queen Sidora is hopeful that Gikachu will have a good relationship with her family as well. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker question. Does Gikachu kiss on the second date? Hell yeah, brother. Okay, so you answer less questions if you answer correctly. They do. Wow. Only the center head gets action. That's kind of unfair. Let's go for in the snow. That's kind of like water. Hey. Brevity, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu poo? No. no, that's number two. Okay. The question that is intriguing your audience is how you are so in tune with the intention of these kaiju. Is your degree in communications? Well. I practice in shin den shin do. Oh, wrong voice. Also, I have to mute. Little bro just walked in. <laughs> I practice in shin den shin do. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? Uh -uh. No, it's listening to the heart. Hmm. What is your sense on Queen Sidora? Oh. They desire a partner to rule alongside. Oh. Will incompatible answers disqualify Gigachu from a leadership position? <laughs> I would speculate that Queen Sidora appreciates diverse ideas. They have plenty of time to achieve consensus where it counts. Oh. Let's see your inside in action and learn more at Mount Sidley now. Dude, I cannot get over their legs. <laughs> Which does Gigachu prefer for a partner? Younger, older, or same age older? I want somebody who's wise. And knows what they're doing. Wink. Queen Sidora carries an air of maturity despite being a young queen. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu enjoy games? No. Games is for non-rulers. I don't play games. Both have other interests. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu musical? Yes. I love the violin, and I love concerts that my queen and king of parents pay for. They heartily share a sea shanty together. Mm. Is Gigachu a diplomatic? Um, yeah. Of course. Wait, this is going really good. Queen Sidora is attracted to Gigachu's diplomatic tact. Okay, okay, everything's going well. Oh. Brevity, I think I'm getting the hang of this Inshin Denshin Do stuff. 
Who? What does your heart tell you? Oh. I sense that was a great date. <laughs> was it the kiss? <laughs> it was the kiss. Mm. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Oh. What about the landmarks they dislike? Well. Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my plumber. Oh. The unstoppable kaiju couple, Sikachu, are making a splash at the Statue of Liberty. Let's go live to the scene. Mm. Does Gigachu dig deserts? No, I hate them. I love water. Oh. Desert sites weren't worth the sandy scales. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu multilingual? Yes, I love diplomacy. Oh. Gigachu is on their way to being trilingual like Sidora. Mm -hmm. Has Gigachu been more affected by positive than negative experiences? No. I take criticism because I'm a ruler and a leader. Oh. Rough waters have made Gigachu a strong swimmer. Mm -hmm. Queen Sidora wants to know what most attracts Gigachu to them. Sense of justice, scales, or transcendence? Sense of justice. Yes, Sidora! I don't like them, but they're so easy. I, I just hope it does not get more difficult later. Gigachu shares Queen Sidora's deep sense of justice and order. They should at least like let us change heads with every kiss scene, like come on. Act 2. Torrents of Tenderness. Ah. We have a special interview with Major Panjadrum. Ah. Thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? Uh. We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Mm. We wouldn't want... We wouldn't want this information getting in the hands of the enemy. Huh? I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. And I don't think the kaijus watch our program, because not one has paid me a visit yet. I suppose it'll be alright to declassify a little, since military might will always overcome love. Our impenetrable naval blockades will keep the kaiju away from even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Oh. Sikachu just washed up the Golden Gate Bridge, and they're already making waves. Huh? What? I must go. Hmm. And we must go live to the scene. Hmm. What is Pikachu most proud of? Ron, Brain, or Brine? Um, Brain, obviously. Oh. Queen Sidora is smitten with Gigachu smarts. Hmm. To what does Gigachu attribute their success? Luck, hard work, or combination? Oh no. The royal team might say hard work, because they might not acknowledge that, like, they were placed in the position they were in, or, like, born into it. I'm gonna say hard work. Uh, they're gonna say combination. Ah. Queen Store appreciates the inherent privilege of their position. Oh, they would have they said luck. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Does Gigachu like literature? Of course. I love reading. Their passion for undersea literature brings them more questions than it answers. Mm. Which does Gigachu go for? Warm weather, cold climate, or clement temperature? Clement. Always neutral. Diplomatic. Even when it comes to weather. Oh. Queen Sidora's subjects reside in a range of climates. Mm. Deal breaker question. Is this relationship worth fighting for? Of course. It always is. Why would you say no? Genuinely, why would you say no? They are united in resolving conflicts. As our kaiju couple's relationship reach new depths, so too shall our reporting. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive into Gigachu? Do they have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Yeah. Gigachu appears to wear their heart on their sleeve. Yeah. They have that hard motive down. <laughs> we'll be focusing on the maritime monarch, Queen Sidora. Oh. Are we going to explore the complexities of aquatic politics again? <laughs> you can't deep dive into the ocean without getting wet, Lucky. Huh. 
I just need a moment to put on my swim cap. How does one become queen of the sea, anyhow? Surf competition? Oh, yeah. What are Queen Sidora's interests, outside of surfing, of course? Ah. Queen Sidora is a long-standing advocate for social justice and teaches underwater basket weaving to help rebuild coral reefs. Huh. How do they even find time to date? Does Gigachu ever get 300% of Queen Sidora's attention? <laughs> the Royal Triumvirate is remarkably capable of playing multiple roles simultaneously. Oh. Does... Why does it does? I swear, my brain will fill in the wrong words when I'm reading. Must Gigachu forgo their own occupational ambitions for only a fraction of Queen Sidora's devotion? Ah. Gigachu might not care about a career, may be happy with a supporting role. <laughs> yeah, I don't quit this gig of a heartbeat to be royalty again. Mm. Now that I think about it, is it socially acceptable for a sea queen to date a terrestrial titan? Or am I misremembering my maritime code to Leon classes? Well. It may be completely unprecedented, but navigating undersea society does pose a unique challenge. Oh. It looks like they're making more waves now. Let's go live to their latest date. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu artistic? Yes, sir. Of course I am. Sidora so compliments Gigachu's institutionalist approach. Mm -hmm. What habit does Gigachu prefer? The big city. A small town or the countryside? Big city? Oh. So that's where a castle would be? Yes! Gigachu can swim with any social circle. Mm -hmm. Does the Gigachu dance? Yeah. Ah. Unlike Queen Sidora's austere movements, Gigachu likes to make a splash. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu into tattoos? No. That's not royalty. That's not prince-like at all. Elk tattoos. They'll leave ink to the squids. Mm. Deal breaker question. What is Gigachu's most formative experience? Great Pacific garbage patch? Melting ice caps? Or KPG extinction event? Oh no. Melting ice caps is probably what matters most to the person in the water. But pollution, garbage is also really important. Wait, Great Pacific Garbage Patch. That's probably in the ocean. Yes! I'm so smart. Becoming Monarch of the Ocean was Queen Sidora's. Probably two more dates. Yeah, there's no more water dates, I don't think. Back to land. Ah. Sikachu continues their powerful pursuit of love. Aww. Their relationship has grown so strong. <laughs> Not strong enough. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Major. Uh. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like us to report on your stratagem if you're able to tell us more. Oh. As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you think. Mm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Uh. Our surveillance submarines have Our surveillance submarines have Our surveillance submarines have observed that their relationship was founded on Our surveillance submarines have observed that their relationship was founded on ulterior motives. <laughs> Blimey. <gasps> Me too. Yes. yes. Their relationship is politically motivated, and Gigachu is maneuvering for one of Queen Sidora's crowns. No. Oh. That's it? <laughs> People often have multiple motivations. Oh. But these are kaiju. So it would be foolish to assume and project complex humans' wants and needs. Oh. oh. Eh. Regardless, once Queen Sidora realizes that their relationship is founded on false pretenses, their destructive dating will surely end. We have already deployed diplomatic drones to disrupt their relationship. Oh. We better go live to the scene to see what happens. Oh wait, this is in the water. Mm -hmm. Yay! Could Gigachu be with someone who didn't share their political beliefs? No. I believe in diplomacy, but if you're gonna be my queen, you need to agree. I guess it's a good thing they're in agreement. What is Gigachu's favorite color? Blue, pink, or gold? Blue, because you're blue. And I like you for being blue. Queen Sidora's favorite color is pink. Does Gigachu like rock? No. That's for peasants. 
ocean is preferred over earth. Deal breaker question. Is Gigachu chasing Queen Sidora's crown? Ain't no way. I would never. It's just a rumor. The crown is inconsequentially. The crown is inconsequential when it comes to Gigachu's love for Queen Sidora. Okay, everything is going good. I have not failed a date. I have not gone on a neutral date. You would think after nearly four hours, I would get really good at rizzing, and I am. Huh. Sikachu has dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. Oh. In our effort to bring... In, a, in our effort to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? <laughs> Tefra has been dating the mythical monkey Pyron. <laughs> what kind of hijinks are these two up to? Well. These fun-loving kaiju have been steaming things up at Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. That's one hot couple. Huh. Will Gigachu and Queen Sora be able to generate that kind of heat in their relationship? Oh. Let's see for ourselves as we go live to their latest date. Does Gigachu find it difficult to compromise? No, I love diplomacy. Oh. Queen Sidora is a born negotiator. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu mathematical? Hell yeah, brother. You should see all my spreadsheets. Oh. Gigachu knows that three heads are better than one. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu a fan of forest? No, I love the water. What? Huh. Kelp forests are an integral part of oceanic o ecosystems. Mm -hmm. Is Gigachu a history buff? Yes. You learn from the past. Oh. Gigachu is delighted by Queen Sidora's deep sea traditions. Mm -hmm. Deal baker question. Does Gigachu compose poetry? Yes. I think it's just yes every time. Oh. Tingling toes touched by tide. Caress skims across scales. Chills. Bat chest. I think that was my first failed answer for Sea Dragon. But I still beat it. Okay, one more date. Big Ben. The swelling of tides of Sigachu's passions have capsized any attempts to contain their affair. Oh. Major Panjinder joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to the unstoppable love affair. <sighs> we are exploring alternative methods of combating these amorous monsters, and we believe we have found a weakness to exploit. <laughs> we expect that Gigachu will lose interest in Queen Sidora once they realize the fate of their kingdom. <sighs> Do you mean the ocean? Uh. The military won't even lift a finger. 8 million metric tons of plastic are dumped in the ocean each year. Oh. For our viewers in the United States, Miramar and Burma, that's about 17.6 billion pounds. <laughs> that's incomprehensible. Why aren't they using the metric system? Uh. Are you more upset about their measurement system? Uh. I'm actually quite concerned about both. Uh. Did you want to know any more about our plans to defeat the kaiju instead of murmuring about the metric system? Huh. I'd like to know what you're going up. I'd like to know what you're going to do to clean up all our oceans. Well, we have a secret weapon we could repurpose once we defeated Sikachu. Ah. Speaking of Sikachu, let's go live to their date in progress. Hmm. I'm going for a no breakup run. What qualities would Gigachu wish to pass to future generations? Humor, a title, a sense of justice, justice. <laughs> They share a mutual love for maritime law and justice. Hmm. What's Gigachu's takes on walls? They're good. Build a wall. Both respect boundaries, but love wrecking walls. Hmm. What is Gigachu's diet like? Seafood, kelp, or liquid? Um, I'm gonna say kelp because if I say seafood, it's gonna imply that I'm gonna eat the sea queen, which like is fun, but like I don't think she wants to hear that right now. No! Ah. Kelp is actually home cooking for Queen Sidora. Mm -hmm. How does Gigachu feel about mountains? I love them. What? Oh. Queen Sidora doesn't do altitude. Mm -hmm. 
What is Gigachu's favorite holiday? Jellyfish Festival, National No SpongeBob Day, or High Five Day? Jellyfish Festival. Okay, deal breaker question is next, I think. Jellyfish Festival is a day for lovers. Mm -hmm. Deal breaker question. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Surf and Baster, on top of the world, or just to be the Queen Sidora? Surf Ambassador. Still not a failed date, guys. That would be an optimal position for pursuing politics and catching waves. Wait, this might be like a perfect run. Because next is going to be the robot fight, because he wants to break us up. Act 3. Love deeper than the ocean. They said they don't like mountains. Taj Mahal. Oh. Major Panjadrum is back with a special announcement. <laughs> Our efforts have finally come to fruition. The kaiju dating season is at an end. Mm -hmm. How can you be so confident? Yeah. Especially in light of all the prior failures. Well. The military's ultimate relationship eradication robot, Mechju, has been deployed. Uh. Mechju's advanced system is specifically designed to evaluate the relationship and exploit their weaknesses. Uh. Mechju will make Gigachu realize that a caring and considerate suitor would not expect a noble queen to court a mere common kaiju. Uh. Queen Sidor was already wrestling with keeping their career and relationship. Uh. Is this the end of love? <gasps> Let's go live to the climactic confrontation. Okay, I don't think I can win here, but I'm gonna try my darndest. So you think your love is pretty good, huh? Of course. <laughs> Their love is the biggest around. Where was Sega choose for a state? One Fathom Bank Loud House, Golden Gate Bridge, or Earth the Lighthouse? Gigachu ah. remembers the date like it was yesterday. Because it happened yesterday. Does Gigachu know Queen Sidora's most formative experience? Learning to swim, becoming queen, or tsunami surfing? Becoming a queen. Okay, I'm doing good. It's right there in the name. What is Gigachu's sign? Aquarius. No! There's no conception of con. con there's no conception of constellations under the sea. Does Gigachu recognize Queen Sidora's greatness weakness? Cast system, dehydration, or grass types? Dehydration. Oh. Queen Sidora is always well hydrated, so it's not really that great of a weakness. Will Gigachu disgrace Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? Ain't no way. Wait, what? Does that mean Gigachu is calling it off? Does Gigachu recognize that they aren't compatible with Queen Sidora? Neutral. Dude, I can't win. Queen Sidora's- Queen Sidora's apprehensions about their alliance. Has Gigachu ever been bested by a robotic rival before? Yes, I won't lie. Uh, okay. I can't win. What's with these dastardly loaded questions? No. But you know what? Sidora turned away, but her oh. eyes were still looking at me. You know who else is gonna be looking at me? The subscribers. Because, guys, we are four hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5, skip your coffee, and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you got a free Prime sub available.
Romance is dead. Overcome by cold and caring algorithms and a giant robot. Aww. Their love seems so powerful. <sighs> the military machine was stronger. We feared they would flood the world with romance, but it ended with a drizzle. Hmm. Sometimes you can make all the right choices and still fail. Aww. That's very true, Lucky. But sometimes there are no right choices. Aww. If a kaiju can't overcome societal constraints in warring states, what hope do the rest of us have? Mm -hmm. That's a convoluted and impossibly high bar for love, Lucky. Yeah. But brevity does exactly what these kaiju must do for love. Mm. If love is a battlefield, oh. which it is, mm. then you only truly lose the war when you stop fighting. Yeah. That means it's still up to Gigachu mm. and Queen Sidora and viewers like you. Sigachu's aquatic alliance has secured control of seas and place in our hearts. <sighs> if their alliance dissolves, how can any of us rely on love again? Huh? It looks like Gigachu is going to get relationship advice. Oh. We're counting on you, Gigachu. Ah. Tefra digs Gigachu and Qu Tefra digs Gigachu and Queen Stora's devotion. Mm. Their relationship is founded on common ground and commitment. Their passions may not rise and fall like the tides, but they share a subtle flow that fulfills each other's needs. <laughs> The current of the love runs deep. Ah. Social constructs in undersea society may seem nonsensical to Megarekis, but they understand the importance of shared meaning and values. Mm. Avoid inventing obstacles and focus on overcoming solvable problems. Mm. Cherish one another's influence to keep the alliance healthy and on course. <laughs> Gigachu is a veteran navigator of love. Yeah, I've dated five other people. Monster appreciates the struggle to balance social obligations and personal needs. Mm. The circumstances for the romance might not be the most conductive to growth, mm. but love will grow if they're willing and committed to work and each other. Oh. The juice is worth the squeeze for Gigachu. <laughs> what? Okay, dude. Ah. Garadon isn't particular Garadon isn't particularly political, but he's a team player. Mm. It's perfectly healthy to have one's own individual goals. Mm. Supporting your partner's gains can even be more rewarding than merely making yourself swole. Yeah. I suppose some kaiju would rather be spotters than the spotlight. Uh. A political union isn't Terpio's cup of tea, but Z appreciates the uniquely shared interests and goals of Gigachu and Queen Sidora's alliance. Mm. Their relationship is elevated by clearly established expectations, boundaries, and desires. Mm. Supporting each other's pursuit of separate interests is healthy. Aww. Their hearts well to see each other succeed. Uh -huh. Gigachu charted a course for love, but Queen Sidora seems lost at sea. The final fight. I'm gonna fight for our love. <sighs> Our ongoing coverage of Kaiju Korcha must finally come to a oh. close. Their relationship has gone aground, and little is left to report. Oh. It's not like you to give up on love, Lucky. Well. I'm not the one giving up. Yes. But Gigachu isn't either. They're heading to Antarctica. Oh. What's there? Is it Queen Sidora? Is it Hope? Oh. It is the end. <gasps> Major Pangendrum! Oh. Why are you here? <laughs> we knew that their relationship was too strong for a single defeat. So we have prepared a finishing blow. What, what are you planning? Uh. Magic will once again confront them with the weaknesses of their relationship, but Queen Store will have no choice but to accept their superior suitor. <laughs> Who would that be? <sighs> Our experts surmise that Queen Store is surely settling for a common kaiju and Gigachu. Hmm. Are you suggesting Sidora would rather date Go? No. No. The King of Monsters is definitely not their type. Magic is the perfect match. Uh. Since when is Magic royalty? <laughs> Since yesterday, uh. Metroju's operating system was upgraded with all the latest aristocratic algorithms. We have installed a cutting edge crown, and Metroju was granted the title of Duke by the Mustache King himself. Uh. As long as love doesn't supersede adherence to our archaic social construct, I guess this will be the end of Sikachu. Oh. Let's go live to see if love survives this climactic confrontation. Come on, I can do this. Are you back for more? Hell yeah. I mean, yes, sir. I'm gonna be a queen. I cannot say hell yeah anymore. <laughs> Sikachu's back for love.
Where was Sigachu's first kiss? Statue of Liberty, Moai, or on the lips? It was Moai. <laughs> that kiss was unforgettable. What are Queen Sidora's love languages? Service and giving, touch and time, affirmation and whale song. I'm looking it up. Service and giving. <laughs> Their love is so eloquent. What did Ziga choose worst habit? Talking to self, spinning, or littering? Littering. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Queen Sidora isn't litter tolerant. Will Gigantru destroy Queen Sidora by continuing this relationship? No. Love is love. And marrying a commoner would be good people. Gigantru respects Queen Sidora's judgment on the matter of their romantic pursuits. How was Gigantru suited for Queen Sidora? Zest for life, breath holding, or surf skills? Surf skills. Oh, I thought that was good. Ah. Queen Sidora thinks Gigantru surfing is cute. Gigachu wishes to express what they love most about Queen Sidora. Sense of justice, scales, or transcendence. Sense of justice. Yeah. Gigachu shares Queen Sidora's deep sense of justice and order. Yeah, let's go! Neither social nor mechanical constructs could constrain Gigachu and Queen Sidora's alliance of love. Oh. It's Gigachu's lack of title no longer an issue. Well. Gigachu's brave victory over Duke Mechu... Mechuchu. Gigachu's brave victory over Duke Mechuchu's... Gigachu's brave victory over Duke Mechuchu proves that a title is meaningless in the matters of the heart. <laughs> Queen Sidora will continue to oversee the sea with... Queen Sidora will continue to oversee the seas with Gigachu by their side. Oh. Can Gigachu breathe in the water or are they simply sustained by love? Mm. There is still so much that we don't know about Gigachu. Yeah, yeah if they like eat or poop. Oh. Or what would have happened if Gigachu had chosen to date another kaiju? Whoa. I suppose someone would have to play again to find Bye. out. See you next time. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. It's cool, there's like a little subtle animation of the top of the waves. That was cute. I gotta sneeze. Okay, so that was... Wait, I'm gonna... we'll, we'll do the review at the end of the credits. I don't think I'm gonna go back and do the true endings. You know, if I messed up, I messed up. And I could not find a good walkthrough of this game. I don't I don't think there's like a secret boss or anything or secret pursuer. Kaiju Dating Simulator. I went for all six of the love interest. I succeeded in three. I am close in the other three. So you know what? That's a 50% win rate. And I'll take it. 
I think my favorite love interest was probably Masra. Or maybe Torpio. The Volcano Grill and the Bird Guy were too much. They were too much for me. The Queen one? Boring. I don't think I could ever marry a prince or a princess. Be too boring. This was very cute. The style was nice. I love how it was consistently like 2D3 out. Because I hate seeing trailers for games or when they have title art that is 2D. But the actual graphics are 3D, so that was really nice. I'm a sucker for any dating sim, honestly. And this one was really sweet. It genuinely gave a lot of good, like, advice relating to emotional intelligence. Especially, like, the... Like, the little anecdotes that the reporters gave. And then the actual advice sections before you you go into the breakup fight. I thought it was very cute. I think this would be very good for, like, younger people to play. Who, like, haven't experienced a relationship. Because you're, like, actually learning stuff. A lot of dating sims are just like, let's... Riz up everyone, seduce everyone, and you get to see like little like PNG images of like fun stuff. But this was very sweet. I like this a lot. I'd have to say 8 out of 10. Very simple still. And it it's very short, which I kind of like. You know, going if I wanted to go back and get true endings, it would not take me long. Yeah, so that was Kaichu. I liked it. It was so cute. There we go. Okay, guys, you know the drill. It's calligraphy time, because we did get two resubscriptions today. So, if you want me to write your name, I gotta use your, all you gotta do is use your channel points or subscribe. Let's get some music on. I also added some new music to the comp. Or to the playlist. This one is called Video Game Music to Play While You Gamble Away Your Life Savings. What do you guys think of the game? I thought it was really cute. I did post my stream schedule for the week on my Twitch story. Tomorrow we're doing Peace Log. getting the camera set up if you could make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel weekly stream highlights on the main channel and then clips on the clips channel Thank you to Mac, 
for the 25 re month or for the 25 month resub with Prime. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you to Electra for the 10 month resub. Thank you for your continued support. And it was Prime! Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think that is. Oh, this is Shadow for my camera right here. It scared me for a second. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatter slurgers, thank you for hanging out today. Nobody's live, so no raid. Once again, thank you to Mac and Electro for the resubs. I appreciate it. Plan is simple. Tomorrow, peace law. Maybe we'll beat the Elite Four tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, before I go, make sure if you haven't already bookmarked my art website, peaceandart.myshop.com. New pieces coming soon, along with semi-weekly blog posts. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video banger video edit from two years ago but it still holds up i can't say these words on stream and no they're not slurs <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow bye good i can't okay let's do the minute outro right now i'm hungry i could feel my stomach grumbling halfway through Any last words? Okay, bye guys.